What's cracking, everybody? Welcome to another break night. Now, before we begin, if you are watching from YouTube, please do us a big favor and hit that thumbs up for us. Also, please vote in the poll at the top of the video to rate this break. And, of course, comment down below. Let us know what you thought the hit of the break was. Now, let's get to it. Let's crack that wax. It is June 29th, 2019. It's a Saturday. I am your break host and resident wax cracker. My name is Christopher. Welcome to yet another break night. How are you doing, everybody? What is cracking? Tonight we've got Stadium Club on tap almost all night long, except for the very last break, which we're also going to be doing a little bit of Finest and Museum Collection, but pretty much just Stadium Club all night long. What is going on, everybody? Thanks for dropping by this final Saturday night in June and it is a hot one out there holy crap it's not even really that hot out there in terms of Minnesota summer weathers but it is it's awfully sticky out there we were just out there on the deck having ourselves a little beer before the break just to kind of loosen ourselves up and yes LQ is in the house uh, she'll be down there down here in just a moment uh, let's check out the chat room and see who we've got live with us right now we've got Randy Johnson Probably not that Randy Johnson, but what's up, Randy? How you doing? Deezy's in the house. Yeah, crazy game in London. I did not watch any of that. I just watched Twitter explode over it. Uh, had the Twins game on there. Currently up 4-1, to one, I think, over the White Sox division rivals. But yeah, I was kind of curious about how that uh, Yankees-Red Sox game would go in such a small park. I, I saw the little video of how they built the baseball diamond out in that park, and the, 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 the fence was awfully short. Uh, kind of reminds me of right field at Yankee Stadium a little bit, but all the way around. So the fact that it ended up 17-13 to 13 in the second longest nine-inning game in Major League history, <laughs> I, I kind of wonder if that is a fair sample for the Londoners, if they're ever going to be uh, roped into watching any more baseball, if that was the game they should watch. Now, of course, you want to send the most worldwide recognized teams out there so obviously Yankees and Red Sox makes a lot of sense but traditionally those two teams every game they play seems to be just a four five six hour marathon and that's not even including extra inning games yipes all right so tonight we do have quite a few breaks to get to but if you are watching the replay on YouTube make sure to check the description box Starting on Sunday, we should have timestamps to get you to the exact break and hit recaps that you want to see, just so you're not having to scroll through the entire video just to get to the spots where you want to get. That's a new thing that we're starting to do. We started doing that a couple breaks ago. It seemed to be a pretty popular addition. It does take a little extra time. That's why I say it'll be loaded up on Sunday, not immediately following the break. However, you can watch the replay at any time just that feature won't be there in the description box until at some point on sunday we don't have any new breaks loaded this week all we've gotten you'll see it scrolling at the top bar are is our merchandise we've got our uh 150 points t-shirts we have our table you or i'm sorry uh, event used tablecloth shirt our crack and wax branded shirt as well as our crack and wax logo snapback cap back up in the shop at discounted prices and of course a portion of the proceeds will be going to charity on those as well make sure you get those orders in so you can be all snazzy for the national and even if you're not going to the national just any time of the year be nice and snazzy represent crack and wax we love it when you do that as far as new breaks are concerned we will be loading up Alan and Ginter sometime next week and I do want to talk about Alan Ginter before we start breaking here now, Allen and Ginter is something that we've been breaking for years and years and years. Um, and from what I understand, we have uh, pretty good SEO on Allen and Ginter. We were one of the few breakers that popped up every year if you just simply type in Allen and Ginter into your search bar. And the reason that is, is because when we do our Allen and Ginter breaks, we do it up big. We raise a ton of money every year through Allen and Ginter for Big Brothers and Big Sisters. It's kind of our 
It's our it's our Super Bowl. It's our WrestleMania. It's our World Series. It's our main event. It's the thing that we look forward to doing the most. And I, I got to think that our Wax Crackers also look forward to doing this uh, just as much as we do. Part of the Allen & Ginter charity event is what we call the Charity Prize Pack. I'm just going to load that up in the screen here for you so you folks can see what I'm talking about. The Charity Prize Pack for a small $5 donation, which would be going to Big Brothers Big Sisters, that's minus any fees, that'll be going to them. As a thank you for your $5 minimum donation, you'll be getting entered for every $5 that you donate to win a Charity Prize Pack. And what the Charity Prize Pack is, it's this big monster uh, package full of prizes donated by us and other collectors and other corporate sponsors. I just wanna run through that list right now as it stands. So currently included in the Allen & Ginter Charity Prize Pack is as follows. From us, you'd be getting the entire non-MLB spot from the second case of 2019 Tops Allen Ginter that we'll be doing this year. You'll be getting one official Crack and Wax snapback cap, one sealed 2019 Onyx baseball, uh, autographed baseball, and $50 in break credit, which would be deposited as wax bucks. You must have a Crack and Wax account. From Tops, they gave us a backpack full of goodies, uh, which also include one box of 2018 Tops Clearly Authentic, one box of 2019 Tops Big League, one box of 2019 Tops Inception. From BCW, we've got some tobacco card supplies, which are perfect for storing and displaying Allen and Ginter mini cards. From Ultra Pro, we got a big box of uh, ass assorted trading card supplies. Blowout card sent us e uh, eight sealed blaster boxes of 2018 Tops Allen Ginter. From Beckett, the winner will be receiving a one-year Beckett online price guide subscription. From Hero Habit, the winner will be receiving a one-year Team Box subscription. Uh, we've got things from Sports Card Forum, from Dub Mentality, including an Andy Dalton autographed full-size jersey with a bunch of other good stuff. From Sean R., a whole big list of things, including what I think is the highlight. And in fact, I'll highlight it for you. It's a 2016 Prime Cuts Warren Spawn cut autograph. Uh, Jason W., that's Mr. Ginter, sending us a couple of Vlad Guerrero Jr. Uh, cards from 2016, as well as a Diamond King's Roger Maris Bat Relic. Tyler sent us a Keon Broxton autograph photo. Mika uh, let us hold on to the 2019 Museum, uh, Museum Collection Jose Canseco autograph 21 of, of 25, I should say, not 21 of 15. I'll have to clean that up. Uh, we're also going to be getting some items from W and Matt L and probably other people as well. That's a This is the, lo the largest charity prize pack we have ever assembled. And last year we were able to send off $3,000 to Big Brothers Big Sisters with the help of our charity prize pack. So this is going to be a huge deal. It's, gonna, it's a very popular deal. So if you folks want a shot at this prize, $5 is enough. Only one person is going to be getting the entire thing. So that's what we're up to. And uh, now, why don't we talk about the break today? We're going to be doing a bunch of stadium clubs. Let's do a little bit of education. Now, of course, we're, there are going to be some variations to look out for. The base ends in 768. The variations will end in 805. It's very simply just image variations. They're going to be a little bit easier to pick out than other variations in other sets. Uh, once you have a good stack of base call uh, cards put together, if you see one card that looks different in that stack, uh, that's probably going to be the variation. There are about two variations per case, so we're not going to be seeing a ton of these. So if we happen to come across one and we miss it, please don't be afraid to call it out. We always love when our wax crackers are able to call that stuff out. There are, I believe, 50 different subjects that have variations. As far as the product details go, of course, we're going to be looking at a few different parallels. Uh, when I say few, I mean a bunch. So we've got base parallels and chrome parallels going from black foil all the way up to gold rainbow foil board, which are one of one and hobby only. Of course, we're also looking for first day issue members only and photographers proofs. On the chrome side, base chromes are one per box. 
all the way down to the Chrome Super Fractor, which are one of one and hobby only. So of course, they're gonna be super hard to pull. All right, folks, let's take this down. And the first thing we're gonna be breaking tonight is the half case, pick one, get one. So of course that means pick one team and you get one additional random team from the 15 teams that were not picked. And in order to do that, we're gonna head on over to random.org and randomize everything. But of course, before we randomize everything, let's decide how many times we are randomizing everything. Take my trusty five star box. We'll take one of the dice out, one of the die, whatever. Shake her up. And whoa. We're gonna be randomizing everything 11 times for this break. All right, let's pull up the screen view. These are the remaining teams that were not picked. We're gonna grab those and we're gonna toss them into random.org and randomize 11 times. And of course, thank you to Blowout Cards for the great discount that we always get from you on our cases. Of course, these are box breaks and not a case break, but you know we purchased a case in order to do these box breaks. So thank you, Blowout Cards. That was the 11th randomization of the remaining teams. I'm gonna drop that into team assignments. And we'll take our 15 wax crackers and do the same thing. After the Pogo, we're gonna have a couple of dual box triple team hybrid breaks. We're also gonna have a dual box random division. And then we're gonna have a triple box triple team mixer featuring one box of Stadium Club, one box of Finest, and one box of Museum Collection, all from 2019. Okay. Team assignments for the Stadium Club Half Case Pick One Get One are as follows. Dame Debbie, you've got the Phillies, White Sox, Tigers, and Royals. Dan B with the Cubs and Twins. ENT, Angels, Yankees, A's, and Reds. GCRL, that's Jim H with the Dodgers and Pirates. Grizz, you've got the Nats and Rangers. John E, Blue Jays, Cardinals, Padres, D-backs, Indians, and Mariners. Kevin G, that's a Crack and Wax rookie, I believe. Braves and Rays. Killer Bees, another Crack and Wax rookie, I believe. Astros and Brewers, Kim K with the Red Sox and Marlins. Mr. Ginter with the Orioles and Rockies and Waxtopia. You've got the Mets and Giants. All right, let's put up the chat room. Oh, it is up. Let's put up the clock. If I can find where I put it, there it is. It is 5.14 our time. We will give you until 5.16 our time to make any trades that you may want to make and go. Also tonight, if anyone feels compelled to help throw in a donation or a tip, all donations and tips tonight by hitting the little uh, dollar symbol in the YouTube chat room or by clicking the link in the YouTube description box, all donations and tips will be donated tonight uh, to this month's charity. Got about one minute left if anyone wants to make any trades in the pogo break. If not, we will shut the trade down, make up the team board, and crack that wax. Yeah, it's going to be hard to get anyone, I think, in the chat room tonight because... I think some people are using this as their 4th of July weekend. Others will be using next weekend as their 4th of July weekend. Such a 
even though it's really warm out it's 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 pretty perfect at least up where we're at i know folks are going to their cabins to the lakes up here i mean we've got like twelve thousand lakes to choose from so <laughs> All right, it is 5.16, our, uh, our time trade window is closed. All right, gonna turn off the clock and the chat room and we will make our team board. And then we will crack that wax. Uh, if I remember correctly, all spots for this one. I gotta look at the website again. Let me check. They were $57 a piece, so that's two teams in, in the half case. Which actually is not that bad if you ask me. Okay. Here is the team board. Let's crack that wax. All right, so we're gonna be looking for two on-card autographs in every box. We've got 16 packs per box, eight cards per pack. I think that's 128 cards every box, so a little over 2,000, about 2,050 cards in a full case. So we got a little bit of work to do. Let's not waste any time. And as I mentioned, LQ will be down in a little bit, not uh, asking her to sort today she'll just be down to be a good look chump of course we're not going to be pulling anything good till she gets here because that's just how the world works so better hope she gets down here soon if you're looking for anything big of course we've got our oversized box loader and i'll be chatting with everyone offline about how they want us to handle shipping these we're gonna start with nolan arnato that little flaky thing out there for the rockies Lots of chipping going on here, unfortunately, from the cutting. It's a shame to see. Jacob, how's it going? Good to see you. Of course, folks, let's uh, also welcome in everyone who's watching from Twitch, Periscope, and Breakers TV. Reed, what's going on, sir? Good to have you here. All right, now our first official is Jorge Alfaro, Miami Marlins. And of course, as I like to do with the first pack, we like to just kind of look around, see what we can see, and then we will start really getting to going on cracking packs. Mark Trumbo Orioles. We've got a Royals rookie, Brad Keeler. Jacob DeGrom, Johnny Bench, lovely Johnny Bench card. We've got a red foil, Cole Hamels. Yaziel Puig, Eloy Jimenez rookie card. Now, of course, Stadium Club is known for their excellent use of great photography, uh, which they get, I believe, just from Getty. New Darvish. Mike Fulton Navich, nice uh, colored version of the Lou Gehrig uh, photo. Alex Bregman, Ozzy Albies, Louis Brinson, Bob Feller, another one of them, and uh, Nicholas Castellanos. Again, if we happen to come across one of the very rare short print variations, image variations, please let me know. Walker Bueller. 
Love that Masahiro Tanaka, Kyle Wright, Austin Meadows, Red Foil of Honus Wagner. And our first autograph is Michael Kopeck for the White Sox. Nice on card rookie auto. I can only guess who the White Sox are going to. And it is, in fact, Dame Debbie. Now she called she called for a an Eloy Jimenez, and I told her that we were due for an Eloy Jimenez. But uh, here's another Michael Kopeck to add to your stack of Michael Kopeck autos. Congrats, Debbie, getting the first hit of the night. It would not be a crack and wax break without Debbie getting one of the first hits of the night. So there we go. I, I really like this Wade Boggs uh, card as well. There is a, I forgot to look it up. There is a Texas Rangers base card. The player on the front is incorrect. And I can't try to try to stop on it if I come across it. I know the, the the problem was solved. There's George Brett. Someone figured out that Getty mislabeled. There's a nice warp speed. Mookie Betts insert. Byron Buxton and Sandy Koufax. Somebody mislabeled the image on Getty and Tops unfortunately used the label that Getty used. So it is what it is. Sally Perez. Justin Turner, Sam Musial, great card. Now, is that one of the short prints? It is not, okay. So for some reason, thinking that was, there's Roger Maris, Daryl Strawberry, Red Foil, Freddie Freeman, Juan Soto, Bob Gibson is upside down in the back, and he's a base card, so nothing. Nothing too interesting with the upside down card in the back of the pack. That doesn't always mean something. Sometimes it does. Schwarber, Jose Ramirez. And we've got a few upside down cards. Shane Bieber, Marcelo Zuna, DJ Stewart. We have a perform or I'm sorry, Emperors in of the Zone, Mariano Rivera. Emperors of the Zone, Mariano Rivera. And that's what the back looks like of that insert. Mike Piazza and Blake Snell. So we're looking for one more autograph. No, I, <laughs> I, uh, I didn't give it too much more thought, Diane. Unfortunately, sorry about that. Uh, I did add one box to a mixer that we're doing tonight, and I am holding back uh, another box for a potential high-end mixer later on in the year. Uh, we'll just, we'll see. There's a nice Beam Team insert of Javier Baez back of the beam teams. Carlos Correa and David Dahl. David Peralta. Jeff Bagwell. Gallo. Power Zone. Shohei Otani. Of course, these are super glossy cards, so very reminiscent of the original Stadium Club cards from the, uh, I think, early to mid 90s when they were using Kodak products. Jake Lamb, Trevor Richards using the uh, multiple exposure effect that I believe Stadium Club and Upper Deck actually used in the 90s. There's Hornsby, there's a red foil of Eddie Murray. Jackie Robinson, very nice card. Chris Bryant, Edwin Diaz, Felix Hernandez, Emperors of the Zone, Pedro Martinez, Carnacio, Miguel Sano, and Ian Kinsler, Padres. Let's see, I'm just looking at the chat room. Uh, can't wait for AMG Blockbuster. Oh yeah, so that, that is definitely not next. Well, they'll be going on sale at some point next week, but that break obviously won't be until uh, the third week, I think, of July. Will Myers, Red Foil.
Power Zone, Mike Trout. Nice uh, shot of Jose Canseco. Michael Kopex base card. Still looking for one more autograph. I think the rest of the boxes we're going to start seeing some dupes, so probably start just flying through these and not announcing everything. Reese Hoskins red foil. Bo Jackson. That's a Stadium Club Chrome, so I believe this is our first Chrome card. So I believe these are supposed to be one per box, if I read that correctly. I think I did. Roy Halliday, Blue Jays. Well, unless, uh, unless an autograph got by me, we're still waiting on our last autograph of the box. It's a foil board of Manny Machado. There it is. Adolis Garcia, Cardinals rookie autograph. And, of course, the thing that I really love about Stadium Club is not just the awesome photographs, but that these autographs are on card. Cardinals are going to John E. You are right, Polly. This is the penultimate pack of this box and penultimate box mojo for John E. Warp Speed, Byron Buxton, and that does it for box number one. Well, not a bad way to start, that is for sure. But that is just box number one of eight out of just this break. So we're going to kick it into gear here. And so we're going to really need your eyes open if uh, we happen to miss any of those short prints. But like I said, that should be one to two per case. So we're not necessarily going to be getting any short prints out of this break but you never know it's just it's always a good idea to have your eyes peeled oh nice oversized print babe ruth and there's a little chipping on the back again from the cutting just like the uh the first oversized card that we ran into and that's unfortunate, but I'm going to guess this entire set of oversized cards kind of suffers from that a little bit. <laughs> Sweep the leg. I was telling LQ, because she was kind of curious, she's like, well, you know, what do you collect? I'm like, well, firstly, I collect on purpose. Like, what is the point of the set? Is the, po is the point of the set, like, flagship to, you know, basically... Build a set. And then secondly, I collect on aesthetics. Does the set look nice? Is it a great looking set? And Stadium Club year after year looks great. And I got to say, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shout out one of my uh, older bro uh, blog friends, Suze. Here's an Eddie Matthews Red, uh, who now works for Tops. She at one point... Uh, did the photo selection for Stadium Club a few years back. And I believe, oh, well, there's that nice Kershaw. Love that card. And that is a base card. And from my point of view, when she, and there's a black Raphael Devers, I don't believe they're numbered. From my point of view, when she started selecting the photos, I think Stadium Club really got got back into its groove of really great photography. So that's uh, I think Sue's really brought a lot to the table as far as what Stadium Club has become. LK Lion, Red Foil. And Autograph, Nicholas Ciufo. Going to the Rays. Never sleep on the Rays. Rays are going to Kevin G, Crack and Wax rookie. Getting the nice rookie auto of catcher Nicholas Ciufo from the Rays. Nice. Do not sleep on the piece. 
So a big shout out to my old blogging friend Suze, who used to write for and very, very rarely, occasionally still writes for a cardboard problem. Warp speed my trout. King Griffin Jr. So now that we're digging into our second box of the night, what is everyone looking for out of these breaks? Which cards would you like to see us pull? Ryan Sandberg, Red Foil, and Power Zone, Chris Davis. As you can see, there's a nice spot where they could sign it. I, I do believe, though, the, ins the insert autos are sticker, but they did <laughs> leave plenty of room for an autograph, at least. And as far as uh, calling which cards you'd like to see us pull, we have been known to come through on occasion. Not on purpose. We have zero control over that sort of thing. But uh, last week was hilarious and aw you know awesome at the same time that Deb uh, asked for a Trout Otani dual auto, and we freaking pulled one. Steven Strasburg, Emperors of the Zone. There's that awesome Max Kepler card with the terrible. This is how we baseball slogan from last year when the Twins were awful. Vladdy Jr., yeah, I think we're due for a Vladdy Jr., and we're, we're due for an Eloy. Jimenez Auto. Joey Votto Beam Team. I wouldn't mind pulling another Super, to be honest with you, but uh, I think uh, being that we just pulled one out of Finest a little bit ago, we're probably not going to see one for a little while. Okay, so there's that Harmon Killebrew card, and I will... Talk about the kill room just a second. Nice. Shinsu Chu. I like that. That's cool. Power Zone, Chris Bryant. Banks. All right, so here's this Harmon Killer Brew card, and I was talking to LQ about this earlier today. So this was shown on Twitter earlier this week, and two things kind of gave it away for me. Firstly, he's wearing a road uniform. His uniform's undone, and he's literally being carted away. Second thing is uh, the, the Astros jacket in the back. So I had wondered if this was taken from the day that Harmon tore his groin while doing the splits, trying to make a play at first base during uh, the All-Star game that year. And I'll be damned, this is exactly it. This is a picture taken from him being literally carted off in the back of the Astrodome. And I think it's kind of funny because the uh, uh, tops... They, they only like to show what they call positive ph uh, photography. And this, to me, is kind of borderline. You're showing someone that had been injured during an All-Star game being carted away. Now, I don't think whoever chose that photo knew that. They probably just saw that and thought, oh, that's a unique photograph. That's something that, uh, you know, that's not a Harmon Killebrew card that you see often. Now, here's a lovely Jose Barrios. I love this card. Uh, taken... Uh, when he pitched in the in Puerto Rico, I believe that was during the Puerto Rico series last week or last, week, last year. Steven Strasburg Red Foil, Carlos Correa Stadium Club Chrome, not numbered. So DZ wants to see a one on one, and then the same exact one on one in another pack. Well, if I happen to pull two of uh, printing plates of the same player, that is possible. Highly unlikely, but possible. Robinson Cano, that's a black parallel. Hugh, uh, Julio Urias, red foil. And Max Muncy autograph. For the Dodgers. Dodgers are going to Jim H, that's G-C-R-L, which stands for Garvey Say Russell Lopes. Little blog that uh, he writes. Congrats, Jim. Now that's going way back. Jim is, that he, <laughs> he's an old school wax cracker. I love what, I love seeing his name pop up. I love this Ozzy card as well that's just fantastic and of course the banner behind him i don't know if you can tell is of him doing a flip and here he is flipping so that's just that's just 
that tells a story right there. That was from his Hall of Fame uh, induction ceremony as well. D. Gordon. Gosh, this is just beautiful. Warp Speed, Trevor Story, Carlton Fisk, and Whit Merrifield. Merrifield, I believe, and maybe that's changed since today's game, uh, I believe is tied for the American League lead in hits with all-star Jorge Polanco from the Minnesota Twins. Vlad Guerrero Sr. Expo, so that's going to go to the Nats spot. Sean Reed Foley, Red Foil. Rod Carew. Got him with the wrong team, though. <laughs> Angels. La Tortuga. Emperors of the Zone, Corey Kluber. Yaz. Nice, Mookie Betts. Has uh, anyone in the chat room busted any stadium club, be it hobby or retail, box, pack, whatever it is? Any Anybody rip any stadium club? 2019 specifically. Steven Piscotti, Red Foil. Dens Bay. Final pack of box number two. Here's LQ. All right, now LQ's here. Now we can start pulling some serious, some serious. Oh, what? Oh, you got your Herbex coaster that you stole? They're for free when you steal them. <laughs> Power Zone, Bryce Harper. Getting rid of some stuff. And that was box number two. How's your head, LQ? It wasn't my head, it was my hand. Oh, I thought you said it in your head. No, my thumb. Oh. Well, I know your thumb, but I thought you also said your head. LQ did that uh, classic uh, sitcom thing where she's pulling things off a shelf and everything comes crashing down on top of her. And I'm down here trying to prep for the break. And, oh, poor you. And I ran upstairs oh. with my poor oh. foot and my poor oh, knee. Oh, I man, know. Man. Martyr much? Yeah. <laughs> That's your new name. Mm -hmm. Miss Martyr much. Who's in the chat room? We've got DZ, we've got Polly Three Jobs, Reed's here, Jacob. Polly Three Jobs, haven't seen him for a while. Randy Johnson's here, Ooh. Diane's here. Not hey, that, everybody. not that Randy Johnson. Mm. He is a Royals collector. That's how I know it's not that Randy Johnson. Because mm. that Randy Johnson, that was one of the few teams he didn't play for. Birdman. That's Fidrich. What do you mean? Oh, the guy, oh, he hit a bird. I gotcha. I'm following along now. Thanks. Oversized box loader from box number three. Mr. Joey Vato. Let's see. Oh no, that stinks, Jacob. <laughs> well, I gotta pull up the chat room so everyone can see what that's all about. Ooh, that looks good. Thanks. Uh, wife broke her nose when a wooden Dang. cheese board came down. Ouch. That was pretty darn close. Mine was a nine piece wedding cake set. Um, like like the tiered, so like it's the tiered one. It, it looks like a uh, Russian doll it was thing. It's all messed yeah. together, and it was under two wooden board bowls, and those suckers are heavy. I cannot imagine if that hit my face. So oh, I, oh, I bet your wife was in massive like eye watering pain. Oh, yeah, yikes. Well, LQ, I will I will pass the uh, base cards over to you to look at it, so I can show you. Just how wonderful these cards are looking this year. And uh, I still, even though she didn't do anything for, for this set, I don't believe I still gave Suze all the credit. Dave Dahl, Red Foil. Oh, he's after my own heart. He talks like me. Oof, jeez. Oh, for jeez. Oof, jeez. Think of where you from. Oh, yeah, these are nice. Aren't they? So they're different than what I was thinking. I really like them. And they're super... Um, uh, glossy, you know, has yeah, has that photo like, feel to them. I like the design when it's all the way to the edge. I don't need a stupid border. Bob Gibson, red foil. I like, I like the full bleeds. Approved. <laughs> I, I like the full bleeds on certain cards. Right. On oh, this set. Arizona via, via Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Yeah. <laughs> I like the full bleeds on this set. I don't necessarily like the full bleeds on every single set. That that's just me. What do, what do I know? 
You say Kikuchi, Emperors of the Zone. You say Kikuchi. That's a joke we already made. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, it's new to me, so it's new joke. So what you drinking over there, LP? Oh, water. Uh-huh. With some g in it. <laughs> Starling Mar Marte Red Foil. I'm glad you're okay. Just look at him. Yeah, I'm just. I'm, yeah, that's exactly why I'm passing some cards to you. What am I even doing here? She says. Oh, I like this Eddie Rosario. This is from uh, Players Weekend at Target Field. Nice. Rosario currently injured. Oh, he's cute. Oh, we've got a Chrome Auto of Freddie Freeman for the Braves. No, this one is, though, but uh, the rest of them... So unless it's a chrome or it's an insert, they've been on card. But the Braves are going to... The Braves are going to Kevin G. Kevin G, a crack and wax rookie. So both of our rookies... Oh, actually, Kevin G it, it was the other rookie that got the Rays auto. So he's got two autos today. Wow. Braves and Rays. This Freeman auto is not... Numbered. Don't sleep on the yeah, don't sleep on the Braves either. The Braves. the Braves. It's not as funny as the Montreal Bay X-rays. Because they're, 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 they're looking. They're, yeah. Let's play it. Oh, hey, Reed. Yeah, I wasn't following a bunch of people. I felt like I was following because. Yeah, Maybe I've been tagged or they've been part of the conversation. So now I get to see the Reed G Twitter feed. That's new. And Jason. And Jason Ginter and Breaker Culture. I gotta be I gotta be honest, I was surprised to see you even say that. I'm like, huh, yeah, I, you're right. How were you not I following these people? But I think it's because we're, you know, taking Possibly. Warp speed Trey Turner. Well, I will check again. It didn't look numbered to me. There's Blake Snell, Red Foil, like Jack Flaherty, Chrome. Ooh. All right, let's check out Freddie Freeman again. I don't see any numbering. Yep, I don't see any numbering on the front. Oh, you're right, four of ten. I'll tell you. See, this is why I gotta have you. I gotta have you folks around. Yes. You were so good enough to follow. I just missed it. All right, so. Not only does a Crack and Wax rookie get a nice Freddie Freeman Chrome auto, it is low number. Are all autos No. Why? Because they're not all parallels. They're not, they're, some of them are like considered common. So the print run on the common ones might be high enough where it doesn't make sense to just number. You know, there might be 500 of them or 999. But, uh, but good call, folks. Good call. Yeah, I was looking for numbering and I. For some reason, missed that. So good one, eyes. One million wax bucks to all of you. Shh. She's not an official employee here. She's just an intern. Don't listen to her. <laughs> Don't listen to her. Matt Chapman Black. Well, I don't think that's going to be the the hit of the night. I think it's a uh, it's it's in contention so far with what we've pulled, but. She did, and we discussed it before you got here. Oh, Carlos, she is not. There's our other autograph. Now, it looks like Chance Adams' ink was running a little dry when he... Chance had to go to the bathroom. Something. Like, Let me just quick fix it here, just I'm walking out of the room. So this is a, this is a nice autograph to have, but it, it looks... like it's a chunk. Yeah, but this is a nice Yankees rookie autograph, Chance Adams. Yankees are going to... The Yankees go to E-N-T. That's E-N-T. E-N-T. E-N-T, as in Ian. 
last name T, like I A. Oh, that is just stupid. Mm -hmm. No, that's dumb. That's mm -hmm. like your nose and throat. Mm -hmm. I'll read. There you go, Ian. Good old Chunk Ch Chance Chunk Adams. Chunk. Speaking of that, are there Boogie's cards or not? Oh, probably from the 80s. Yeah, I'm sure there are. Speaking of Chunk. You'd break anything that moves. Warp Speed D. Gordon. Matt Kemp is a base card. Why are you hitting me like that? To your nose, throat. So now Homer gets his three. <coughs> sorry, his third home run in the last two days. Red foil of Mike Piazza. Carl Fisk. Merrifield. Now, unfortunately, I'm going to have to have you move that drink when we're done with this, because that's where I'm going to put all these cards. You'll be done by then. Trevor Bauer, Emperors of the Zone. Out of your Molina Beam Team. Last pack of box number three. Power Zone, Alex Bregman. Mookie bets. I have a feeling that we're going to pull one of those Power Zones as an autograph. But yeah, I don't think that Freeman is going to end up being the hit of the night. I think it's it's uh, up there, but I think we can do. I think we can do better. Now the only cards that have been called so far that you want to see us pull is the Eloy and the Vladdy Jr. Ricky Henderson is our oversized. Foil of Kettle Marte. So, any 4th of July plans from anyone in the chat room? I know Waxtopia said he was coming up uh, into Minnesota. Emperors of the Zone Walker Bueller heading up north to one of the lakes. Jacob thinks we're doing a beam team auto. That would be nice. I wouldn't mind that. Red foil of Whit Merrifield. Todd Frazier. So that's uh, when the when they cut the cards. In fact, a lot of these cards you'll see them in the back, especially when they cut the cards. That some of the ink tends to flake off just from the cutting action. Maybe they should use borders on the oversized with cut down chip and stuff. See, that's where borders don't bother me so much. So the full bleeds are nice to look at, but man, that's going to hurt your grading if they happen to flake or chip like that. And that's just a product of the ink getting scraped off with the, the, the cutting edge. Charlie Blackman Black. Happy birthday, Reggie, son. Oh, nice. Beer and bagels for watching the... What? Watching the parade. Oh, nice. That's kind of a fun little tradition. We don't have or we have a bunch of this up here, but you're not 
Not really, no. Okay, so this Dale Murphy uh, was pointed out that this photo had been used already in uh, a previous, maybe even Stadium Club card. And most of these images, though, have not yet been used. That was one that had already been used. Here's a Beam Team Francisco Lindor. It will be our 19th, what I call, dataversary on the 4th of July. So LQ and I actually met on the 4th of July in 2000. In person on Granddad Bluff in La Crosse, Wisconsin. We don't often get back there, but... Rod Crew, Red Foil, and we've got a Framber Valdez, Houston Astros. That's a nice looking one. Rookie Auto. See, this is why I love having autos on this set, and especially having them on card, because these are awesome photos. Great substrate, really, to be uh, signing on. Just looks awesome. Astros going to... Uh, Killer Bees! Killer Bees! So we do have both of our Crack and Wax rookies represented with hits tonight. You nicknamed somebody that's brand new? No, that's not my nickname. That's how they came up. Oh, yeah. well, but you did. I might. <laughs> Congratulations, Killer Bees, on the Framber Valdez nice. rookie auto. Oh, let's pull up the chapter. It's 112. What? Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh that's Good lord. How I met your LQ nice show first year. Uh, How you it would get canceled after the first 10 minutes. Hey. <laughs> you remember how that night ended? Uh, buddy hug. Yeah, Chris is really good at buddy hugs. So uh huh. Chris was uncomfortable. <laughs> I think your dad, even after nearly 20 years now, is always surprised if I ever give him a hug. Like, he just doesn't expect me to hug him. He kind of is, yeah. Power Zone Chipper Jones. There's a black and white parallel of Yasiel Puig. Get my phone down and start the people in the that is not numbered. We've got a chrome of Frank Thomas. Not numbered. Max Kepler. You got real like that. You don't. I went to a it, but 100 degree nights are ridiculous. Most people, correct me if I'm wrong, there's people in the captain's head that crumble. But I've heard that a majority of Canada does not have air And why should they? Well, but they still have these 90 and 150 degree, but it's such a small window that they don't bother. They just, like, frickin' suffer. Like, not even window units or yeah. anything like that. But the other thing I heard were folks in Seattle or Portland out, out yonder that they don't either. But can you imagine all, like, the humidity and just, I don't know, like, I, maybe we're just super spoiled here, but. We are. <laughs> if Zed Grizz were in the room, he'd tell us about. Yeah, that's what I was just curious about any other Canadians. But it's a dry heat. Right. right. <laughs> that's like when we were in Vegas all those years ago, walking around. In 19. Yeah, walking around in dress clothes in Vegas. Like suit. Here we go. Oh, oh. Lone Star signature. Bob Gibson, oh, nice. 9 of 25. Wow. Well, now we've got hit of the night potential for sure. We've pulled uh, Bobby Gibson autographs in the recent past before. It's always awesome to pull his autos. Cardinals, LQ. Who are they going to? They're going to, oh, we know him, John E. John E. He's is... been hitting some major, I believe the Buck City boys will call it fire. Uh, yeah, fire, wow. heat. I'm going to pull this closer to the camera. He's been pulling some dry heat. In these He's pulling some rooms. dry heat. Wow. That's a 9 of 25. That's nice looking. Yeah. Hey, Vilma, by the way. Hi, so Vilma. Jump in. Good to see ya. All right, we're going to pull the team all the way down. There we go. Nice. Well, that could be the big hit. 
and I would be fine with that. Swept that leg. Okay, now that he's swept the leg, I think Johnny's probably going for the kill. He is just... That's a guy I wish was on Twitter, because I would love to he's see... Not? I haven't seen him on Twitter, because I would love to see his Twitter reactions to what <laughs> we've been pulling for him. Okay, which woo? The, the video woo? <laughs> Here. Woo. I don't think go. anyone heard you. I heard Nola Embers of the Zone. LQ the woo! Nice. Did I do it right? LQ the woo! Yeah. yeah. That's going to be copyright infringement at this point. We keep wooing for... Ah, you know, I think they appreciate some cross-pollination cross of woo. <laughs> the Dude Bros, we're trying to figure out names for their wine. Because we saw, was it Adam or Chris that was stomping on rappers in a box and nearly took a massive digger? Did you see the video? No. It's hilarious. So he, they were still streaming. I think it was after they were done breaking, and he was trying to push down, and he started stomping like Lucy making wine. Oh my and gosh! So I made the comment. Oh, like that news reporter that was. Yes. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, but anyway, but so we said it was going to be Woo Wines. Someone else and, said something that was really like spot on. Hilarious. And Dude Bro Merlot. Dude Bro Merlot, yeah. It's gonna be the first. That was either Chris or Adam said that. Uh, so we're, we gotta we gotta work on something uh, here. So, mm. but anyway, something with Chardonnay. I know, but I'm trying to think of. I was thinking of fire, thinking smoke machine, thinking Dude Bros, thinking Buck, Buck like three Buck Chuck City. Yeah, or something right. Like that. Okay, two so. Buck Chuck City. Vilma says, hope it's not too late to donate to the Alan Ginter prize pack. Still getting autos together. Should mail them out next week if that's okay. Vilma, that is awesome of you. Thank we, you so much. We love you, Vilma. Yeah. Thank you so much. In fact, speaking of uh, donations, uh, I mentioned earlier, I'll just mention it again. Any tips or donations that you happen to give tonight by hitting that little dollar sign in the chat room on YouTube that you happen to send to us tonight will be donated to our charity of the month, which this month is Human Rights Campaign. And let me tell you, we are so far at almost $750. Holy shit. Sorry. Holy shoot. Well, it's worth saying that. Holy right. shit. That's yeah. great. Okay. You let me swear. Yeah. And this has been our best month so far this year. July is going to be even bigger mm -hmm. with that Allen and Ginter charity prize pack. And All right. a donation of a freaking case by Dead P. Yeah, from Dead P. I can't believe that. I already showed the list of stuff that we currently have. So if those of you who are watching in the chat room don't know what she's talking about, we uh, every year we gather together a bunch of items that we consolidate into a massive prize, which we call a charity prize pack. And for every five dollar uh, donation that you send to us, we will, as a thank you enter you to win that massive charity prize pack so for as little as five bucks you can come away with thousands of dollars worth of awesome things so uh ronald robinson uh didn't see that earlier so probably just uh me but the freeman in my opinion is a bigger hit than gibson well i mean like i said the, the freeman is up there but the gibson i don't know because the freeman is of 10 it's a chrome the uh, the gibson is an insert let's see is the gibson numbered i forgot to look no the gibson is not numbered. i don't know what it is number nine of 25 that's right yeah they're both in the running Ronald, are you, is this your first break with us? Oh, no, no. no? He's, he's been here before. See, I need to get down to these chat rooms more. So, so Ronald, are, are you approaching OG? Ah, see, now, if you're OG. Though, I, just like, I like seeing new names that are new to me. New so, to you, yeah. So, hey, Ronald. <laughs> I know Q. Nice to meet you. All right, let's turn off the chat room. Let's get back to... So I have a question for you. Oh, let's not. Okay. No, I mean, go ahead. But it's about the chat room. Why do you take it up or put it up and take it down? I don't know this other breaker's doing. To let the screen breathe. So I, when I'm moving my cart around, it's, you know... It's, you just want you to show off your right thumb? or I want everyone to see those stickers you gave me back there. Oh, you shut up. <laughs> you don't even mention them. And I bet you those are worth nothing. <laughs> they're worth everything to me. Oh, they're not. That's why I put them back there so people can see. Oh, the nice that old, you, the nice old school Baltimore Ravens you know football stuff. and Houston Oilers. <laughs> Those might be worth something to nobody. There are something. stickers that have been removed off that sheet, so probably not. Not all of them. Some of those are full, right? Oh. Looks like we got a Nolan Ryan. What is it, shift? 
Oh, it's probably chipped. It's also not signed. Boy, that would be something. Now, that would be hit of the night. If we had an oversized Nolan Ryan that was signed, that would instantly leap over Gibson and Freeman. He sure does, Reed, because he doesn't do anything. <laughs> hey, look at these calluses, man. I work out. Look at that. That's gross. Yeah. Okay. He mows the lawn. I mow the lawn twice Thank a week. Thank you, dude. Was there another pass break? See, I see that's the deal, Ronald. You've probably been here more than I have. <laughs> <laughs> I will give credit where credit is due. Ronald is probably like, who is this woman that yeah, suddenly... No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I... Uh, that's funny. I didn't realize you had a girlfriend. It's uh, I'm the hype. <laughs> I've always said I'm the hype. We'll say gal. You're the hype gal that follows nobody, so right. no one hears what you're saying. You're like a tree <laughs> that fell over in a forest. No one was around. What? Uh, you know, no. She got fired, that's right. She's about to get that with a D at the end. Fired? Yeah. No. From your... Unpaid interns cannot get fired. You've covered <laughs> this. How do we get you to go away then? Oh! <laughs> that's easy. Yeah. Stop hitting me. <laughs> Sandy Koufax, red foil. I don't know what you're talking about, Reed, but I think I might be putting you on the list. Oh, boy. You've probably put him there before. Ooh. Nolan Ryan, Emperors of the Zone. Well, we're actually building up pretty decent lists for our hit of the night. Of course, we'll be... Oh, Ronald! My bad. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I, I gotta say, it sounds like I'm covering my ass, but your name did sound familiar. So, okay. Autograph, DJ Stewart for the Orioles. Nice rookie autograph. Orioles are going to... Oh, I know him. Mr. Ginter. Who just got followed by LQ today? <laughs> so does that make him an LQ rookie? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Congrats, Mr. Ginter. By the way, uh, Mr. Ginter is one of the uh, folks who donated items to our charity prize pack. Thank yes, you, Mr. Ginter. He also gave me one hell of a sweet signed Stranger Things autograph from one of the actors on the show. Yeah. Woo! It was very nice of you, Mr. Ginter. Uh, you know, Reed, I am going to be paying for this forever. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> nice Juan Soto red foil. Boy, what's up with collation here? Up, down, up, down, up, down. Come on, Tops. <laughs> get it together. Sorters need you to be more with it. Maybe you should start taking over my uh, break videos. Or not break videos. Oh, screw that. You need to turn those right side up for me for when I'm sorry. I have yeah. been. No, I know, but I'm just saying. <laughs> That's why I want them to do better by you. Because then it's better by me. And then you should take over my gut reaction videos. I'll do that. I give gut reactions every two minutes and I'll help. Now this might be our short print. It is not. It is still number 768. It was a photo that I didn't recognize and I felt like we were through enough cards where... What makes the short print is it? No, not necessarily. It's just an image variation. So if it's a photo that I hadn't seen before, it makes me wonder. Um, there are about 50 different players who have image variation parallels. <laughs> Read your guy after my own heart. You know, grudges are very important. <laughs> what is uh, Ronald saying here? Cool. I will after I announce the Eloy Jimenez Chrome, not numbered. We do have the chrome. All right, Ron, what did Ron say? Do we go by Ron or Ronald? What's 
I'm only a jukebox mix break. Oh, the one with museum and finest and stadium oh. club. That'll be that'll be a fun one. I'm looking forward I, to that. I handpicked these boxes. As I am told, yeah. As I'm told, we still have yet to pull that case hit from uh, where that box of museum that was pulled. But LQ personally selected each box from each of these breaks. Yeah, so he's like, come downstairs. I have a job for you. That's usually not something I look forward to hearing because it's something that's an event. But he literally just had me uh, pick out what boxes were going to be broken for, what, for each break. For each yep. break. So anything that's pulled that's wonderful, I will take credit for. Anything that's crap, it's Chris's fault. Uh-huh. <laughs> because I asked you to do it. That's right. <laughs> and that is the correct way to think about it. Uh, Emperors of the Zone, Aaron Noah. All right. So does that mean I can call you? Ron, or is that your way of telling me uh, to call you Ronald? <laughs> well, he didn't say he didn't say only my friends. Well, well, that's how you do <laughs> Bryce Harper, Beam Team. Only because grudges are a what? That's true. So how about a, a positive grudge? <laughs> a grudge? Not a grudge. There's still the such grudge? thing as bad publicity. There you go. Black Guerrero Senior Power Zone. <laughs> All right, we'll call you Ron Robinson. That is, that's a nice name. That's like, that's tight. Well, here's to you, Mr. Robinson. That's right. Are you named after somebody? Robbie Ray I that Black. Way. We've like got a more classic names like Ronald. Chrome of Hideki Matsui. Robinson. That's so badass. Is it not? <laughs> like, oh, uh, Ronald Robinson. Like, I mean, like John Cena badass? Or? Uh, no. More classical badass. Like someone you wouldn't want to mess with. Somebody, like, like Johnny Cash badass? Uh, yes, yes. Ronald Robinson. Byron Buxton. There is an autograph of Tyler Skaggs for the Angels. Angels are going to be going to... Uh, that is... Um, uh, ENT, because I'm not going to say ENT, because this is stupid. <laughs> you need to change his name. <laughs> I would call him Tizzy. Tizzy? Yeah, it's Ian Tisdale, right? Cruz just homered again. Oh, see, see this that's is funny. They talked about him, so now he's homering. Right? I was uh, listening to the radio on my way home uh, before the break. <laughs> Reed G, you're definitely on the list, you little stinker. That's the last pack of that box. And uh, the radio guys were saying that Nelson Cruz... Of all people in his entire career, was terrible at uh, uh, White Sox, whatever the cellular field or whatever they call it these days, their park, and has only had four home runs his entire now career. Two just today. And he hit a double. And a <laughs> double. Was probably a triple or a ho- in, uh, in inside park the home run. <laughs> for, for Byron Buxton, yeah. joke when my dad played softball he was actually a really he was gonna pitch in the majors my dad was but then he blew his knees out skiing so that's another story but my dad when he got older ooh, that's a nice one i like that picture um <laughs> he was a bit slower so they always said terry hit a home run he got all the way to second and that is totally how i feel about any older player that gets kind of that Mike Redmond. Oh yeah. Sort of sure. kind of to him. Yeah. Or like like I mentioned during the game when Jim Tomey. Oh, we're well, quite safe. Now he's telling me something that I should probably. Oh, well, let's pull up the chat room in the room here. All right. Well, okay. Let's cover off on Reed saying, "Don't worry, Chris. I'll still blame Milk you." Just gonna reiterate, you're at the top of the list, Reed. All right. Poke the bear. You know it. I'm the bear. All right. Oh, Robinson's returning. What? Well, LQ thought that was funny as hell. I hear mom. Your mom's my new hero. Jesus Christ, that's awesome. Sorry about that, Ron. Oh my 
Yeah, that is fantastic. I was not expecting that story. That was good. You got her good. <coughs> oh my goodness. That's gold right there. <laughs> I like your followers. They're fun. I kind of think so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I'll keep them around. I'll even follow them on Twitter. All right. Vilma, were you named after somebody special? <laughs> I was named after Amy Carter. I know that. President Carter's daughter. I don't think I was named after anybody in particular. Didn't your, didn't your folks name oh, we've got an autograph. Hold on. Every time, right? every time, every time. Yeah. So behind Jake Arietta, we've got a Phillies auto of Oscar Hernandez. And I'm sure you can just tell me who gets this Phillies auto without even looking. I'm going to go with Dame Deb. Let's see if you're correct. Phillies are Dame Debbie. Woo! Boy, uh, I don't know about that autograph. I know that's a... Uh, it, it's a three, but he's not wearing a three. So what is happening? If that's a Z. Don't be stupid. I hope that's a Z. That is absolutely a Z. Rerudo. Okay. <laughs> I'm just, you know, some of these athletes like to be funny with their signatures. No, so, no, no, all no. right. Well, Dame Debbie got the uh, the, the Sean Ass autograph. Sean Ass? autograph last week. Oh, Sean Manea signs his autograph, Sean Ass. Like A-S-S. Yeah. What? Yeah. Why? It's there, you can you can follow at collect till I die. All right. That's Ron. I will be doing that. Yeah, and I, I completely and Ron, forgive me, I completely forgot to tag you in our tweets today. I try to hit as many people that are in the breaks that day just to remind them when and where things are happening. My apologies, Justin Verlander, Emperor of the Zone. Oh, thank you, boys and girls. Yes, because Chris can't see that. Okay. Oh, so Vilma is a one of a kind. Mm -hmm. Vilma mm -hmm. Yemenes. Or is it Yemenes? Ask her. She's yeah. the one with the name. Vilma, where do you put the accent? Yemenes or Yemenes? Who do we work with that has Yemenes? I'm not sure. The Rizzo Beam Team. I always want to make sure I'm saying people's names correct in my numbering. Yeah, me too. No, you don't. <laughs> you just want to give people nicknames? Well, I mean more for a breaking perspective here. You know, it's... No, that's why you do nicknames. <laughs> Sonny Michael, you know. Uh, Mike Trout, Power Zone. See, it's me, second one. Okay, I don't remember what I said. <laughs> you were asking if it was no, I know. Jimenez, Jimenez or Jimenez. Jimenez. Okay, so... I forgave you as soon as I saw you. Following people. Read. 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 Yeah, read. You're on the list in bold, all caps. <laughs> Thames, not Thames. See, all right. We probably have some pretty youthful followers. What is I forgave you as soon as I saw you didn't include me. He was talking to me. Oh, okay. That was very nice of you, by the way. Does anybody remember the WKRP in Cincinnati episode where Les Nesman had to take over uh, the sports announcement? It's for, is it Herb? Yeah. And he said Chai Chai Rodriguez yeah. or Chi Chi Rodriguez. Yeah. I, that has been one of the most brilliant pieces of comedy writing ever. Oh, Reed, you don't want to be on this list. Let me tell you. Tom Glavin. There was a Buster Posey Chrome card back there that was not numbered. <laughs> I tell you what. There's Bryant. Go, go back. To what? Seven. What about it? Check this LMR. Just its placement makes me think it's a base card. Yeah, it is. All right. I just couldn't remember if we pulled that one before or not. How many you pulled any parallels? Or, um, 
Parallels, yes, but variations, I don't believe so. There should be one or two per case. Yes, it was, Polly. More news. Oh, Les Nessman. I'll tell you what. You are a sweetheart, but you Ooh. are... Ooh. Adubal Herrera, Red, and Ryan Barucki. Blue Jays rookie autograph. Blue Jays are going to go to... We pulled his auto. That's, that's a little bit of Viking purple. We pulled his auto a few times this year. Okay. Blue Jays are going. Blue Jays are going to... Oh, that guy we know called John E. Johnny's stealing the Blue Jays from Grizz. Yeah. Getting the Baraki Auto. I'm sure yes. Grizz doesn't mind. Grizz has about 20 of these from, from us. Okay, yeah, that's right. Polly is very youthful. He's in his 20s. Oh, yes. No, Ronald, we are we're older. Speaking of Eloy Jimenez. He's a lot of face cream, but we're older. Speaking of Eloy Jimenez, he just hit a home run in the ninth, so it's now 10 to 3 twins. Victor Robles, she's Jimenez, and Eloy is Jimenez. I know that because I've heard that like a lot. Because you know, finally I'm saying Mika instead of Micah. Micah? Oh well. So I should probably just call him Ronald. This is a foil of Austin Meadows. I don't like that. That is numbered 23 of 25. Go ahead. Well, you don't follow her, so. Yes, I do. <laughs> don't give me fuel. He needs no fuel. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Todd Helton, Power Zone. It was a nice Robin Hood. Like that. Oh, Reed. Yes, we are. We could be, you know. LQ yeah. just seems to think we are old. I don't know why you think that. We are for the hobby. I feel like oh people my God. this hobby don't feel hobby No, I feel young. like most of the people in the hobby have gone through the same exact thing that I did. What do you mean? We collected in the 80s and 90s. We took a hiatus in the 90s and early 2000s and came back in the mid-2000s in our 30s just like I did. A lot of us, I mean, it's still happening. There's still oh. ladies and gentlemen who are coming back into the hobby after a... a a hiatus. And what are you saying? Eloy's last name is said the same as mine. Okay, so. So are they wrong then? Because I've. Jimenez. I've been hearing our radio and TV guys up here calling Twins games, calling them Jimenez instead of Jimenez. So. All right. I, we'll go with what Vilma says because that's her name. Ronald, you are a, a, a titch ish older than us. My wife just thinks she's older than she actually is. And it's very cute. I, yeah. Chris says, Chris, when he's flirting, says, I look like I'm in my early 30s. And then I make him dinner. That's all. Oh, look at Bill. You're wrong. Yes. Okay, so it is. It's not Jimenez, it's Jimenez. Jimenez. Eloy Jimenez. All right, well, we're going to say it right here. Bruce Harper. I love that. Is that on Netflix? What? WPR. Oh that was such a good show. It's so good that you you took the Lord's name in vain. Oh please! Why do you give three shites about that? Oh my goodness! Oh oh, that's a whole other break. Thanks for not saying whole other. I know. Chris will literally pause something to give me a look if somebody says whole nother in a TV show yep. or a YouTube stream. Yep. He cannot handle it. A whole nother and it's one other thing to say. Yeah. No, when a uh, YouTube channel like Watch Mojo um, or What Culture, anybody that loves to say the word titular in every freaking video. That's because I think you like it's a trend. They go through the word trend. If you say it once every couple of months, fine. But every single video, stop using that as a like a, a, a the trendy hot word of the month. It's just gross. Titular is a hot word. Well, you say penultimate. No, I say the, the reason why I say it's the hot word of the month is because everybody on multiple channels that have nothing to do with each other are all saying it on You've every got to show video. Me. I've only seen it on How many times have I groaned 
every well, night that we're watching YouTube because of that. And I pointed I feel out like to you. It's for grammatical reasons, not just for that. No, it's because they can't stop saying. Yeah. Now, I believe this is our short print. This is Bryce Harper. That is a base card? That's not the short print? Good lord. Okay, you gotta see All right, this is Ronald Acuna. This is a black. It's hard to tell, but it's numbered 68 of 99. So an insert parallel. See, that's weird when there's all that white. I keep thinking they should have had it signed. There is, well, they do have autographed versions of that, but stick it off. But I, but I did mention that they at least... <coughs> LQ still coughing after a month. Jacob DeGrom, Emperors of the Zone. Tukey, I haven't seen that one before. <laughs> that you, is a baby raising coma. <laughs> oh, that's good. I love it. Baby raising coma. Look who's here. Y'all were toddlers. Listen, Ronald. Yes, you're correct. Christian Yelich, Beam Team. Like oh, interesting. Yep, that's very true, right? No, and they definitely are, Vilma. Oh, yeah, totally. Oh, um, they are. What, what is Bert? Bert is. Uh, Dutch. Dutch. Yeah. Goodrum Black. Yeah, Polly, I had I had double pneumonia back in January. And it kicked my butt. And so now every time I've had any kind of uh break. Uh, yeah, <laughs> actually. Gene Segura. Adam Simber, rookie autograph. Cleveland Indians. Nice on card rookie autograph going to the Indians. Alright. Indians are! Indians are going to oh, that guy, John E. John E. Cleaning up tonight. Wow. Well done. We got one autograph left to go. Polly, three jobs. I should go in. You're making me think I need to go in. You might, actually. Nice. It was enough for my mom last week to mention that you were still coughing. Oh, well. But, okay. Mike Piazza, Power Zone. See, that's what I was saying. They left a nice white area there yeah. for a signature, but they use stickers for that. Oh, yeah. so Dallas Keuchel is a base card, I'm sure. Yep. Yeah. Okay, fun fact. So he labels our Mr. Tizzy. This is me nickname. Ian Tisdale. E-N-T. Yours truly actually is a lapse. E-N-T. And I should be knowing my medical knowledge and going into doctor, but I'm not. No. This has to be. This has to be. There's no way that this is not a short print. This has to be. It's a base card. What, what? on earth? But it's not. Have you seen it? No, I don't think I have. Unless I've, you know, just been kind of going through and not paying attention. But what's geez. The, what's the what's up? Thing? Warp speed. Warp speed. Oh, I thought it said what's up. Save some for the fishes, Johnny. Woo! Was Castiano? That's a black and white parallel, not numbered. <clears throat> After we're done with this box, we will take a couple minutes to reset, and we will do the first of two dual box triple team hybrid breaks. Air Cosmo Red Foil, Chrome of Max Scherzer, not numbered. of the zone, Zach Greinke. We think we've got one auto left, if I'm not mistaken. Well, I don't know what's going on with this card here, but that doesn't look right. Jorge Alfaro's got some yellow lines going through it. That's a little strange. I don't know what that's well, all about. Well, it could be practice. Are they trying to pitch I, to a certain... I don't know. I... When we're sorting, we'll see if this has happened. Yeah. It's a little weird. Derek Rodriguez is a base card. They're not straight, so I'm thinking that's part of 
Maybe it is. Yeah, that's that's really weird. Yeah, I don't know. I've never seen that before. Huh. That is interesting. Just a few packs left. And then we'll do a hit recap, of course. Roberto Clemente, red foil. I bet there's an autograph. Oh, it's not. It's a chrome of Alex Bregman. And it is numbered 95 of 99. So when you're looking at stuff that's numbered, obviously low number is a big deal. But is there something that's a value when it gets higher? That it's 99 of 99. Is that something? That's an eBay one of one. That's... Okay, yeah, yeah. But I mean, like, as you get higher, is there, like, a, a cutoff that's, like... No. Uh, it just depends on. The lower is the better. Yeah, because that's it's because so, be, that's so arbitrary. Because it's that's... rarer. Oh, it's totally arbitrary, but it's it's just rarer. Is it really though? No, it's not. It's still the same fraction. Okay, we've got probably an autograph here, so I'm gonna hold on to that. And let's see who it is. It's not an autograph. It's just oh, an insert. Geez. Chris Bryant. Well, I thought we were getting to our autograph. No, it is totally arbitrary, and it's just it, each. Am I right though? Each. That it's still the likelihood of pulling a one of ninety-nine is the same as pulling a forty-five of them, correct? Yes. All right. So then, what? Well, that's a bullshit. Sorry. Shoot. Bullshit. But you're you're only talking within that set. Yeah. Well, then it's yeah. Why is that BS though? No, I'm just saying that in general, if you pull the one of ninety-nine. Is that more valuable? Like, see autograph. Now? Autograph. Sorry. Autograph. Brad Keller. Rookie autograph. And because we've got Randy Johnson and other Royals fans in the rooms. In the room. Wow. We've got a Royals hit. And the Royals are going to. Royals are going to Dame Debbie. Dame Debbie with the first and last autos. Congrats, Dame Debbie. Okay. So as we're, as we're doing this last pack. Okay, so parallels are set up so that's the same card but some different thing on each one. So one will be red, foil, the other one will be black foil, whatever. And they'll each have their own numbering system. So let's say that the reds are of 25 and the blacks are of 99 yeah. and golds are of... Okay, so it the numbering within that is is no different. Okay. But the numbering that's based on the question. other ones. I yeah. Getcha. Okay, so Jacob is saying... Never seen that total strangeness, so guessing about the lines. Final pack, by the way. Just jersey number and higher really. All right, that was our final pack, and then we've got one more box to do. Here is our last box of the Pogo break. Good luck, everybody. After this box, we'll do our hit recap, and then we will reset and head into our next break. Yeah, you're right. People seem to go after the first number, the last number, and the jersey number. And that's just, that's more a collector preference thing. Yeah. Anthony Rizzo, oversized. I believe that was two chrome in that box, and if it was the case, one of them was a parallel, and I don't know if they count that against the odds or not. $9.99 of $9.99 have, like, the minimal <laughs> added value to it, I would say. But that's a collector thing. That's an eBay thing. It's, you know... Put that on screen? No. Okay. They won't get it. <laughs> All right. Final box. Crackamax.com slash shop is where to go if you want to get yourself some Crackamax merchandise David, for charity. P.S. By the way, I just learned that that's what your name meant. I've been calling you David Einark. <laughs> she sure has. <laughs> I thought you were from Canada. I'm like, David Einark from Canada. Why would you think he was from Canada? I don't know. Because he's so nice. That's a strange assumption to make. Because he's so nice. I don't remember 
super fly. So anyone from the United States that is nice to you is automatically from Canada? Mm. All right, folks, we are also still looking for a short print that I'm not sure if we have come across yet. So please let me know if you see it. And as I was mentioning, crackamax.com slash shop is the place to go if you want to pick up some Crackamax branded merchandise, such as our I Bought Into a Break and Only Got 150 Points t-shirt. I think Reed needs that for his ironic t-shirt collection. I'm just And... Again, crackamax.com slash shop is the place to go if you want to get Crackamax branded merchandise, such as that shirt, plus our Crackamax snapback cap. Purchases will go towards charity. Emperors of the Zone, Andy Pettit. What? Oh, David Einhardt from Canada. <laughs> Chipper Jones. Justice Sheffield and another Ryan Barucki. This time this is the black parallel. I hate pulling player dupes, especially in hits, but uh, parallel dupes don't hurt me as much, but I still don't like it. Uh, but that's another hit for the Blue Jays going to John E. And now just because he has the Blue Jays doesn't mean he's from Canada. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know, whatever. <laughs> yes, Jacob C. I, yeah. I can't be Look who's here. into all of the time. It's E&T. Ah, uh, E&T. So, Ian. Apparently you have a new nickname, Ian. Ian. I am not a fan of the E N T nickname. And he doesn't even know about it yet. Yeah, okay. So that's what apparently Chris has deemed you is the letters E N T like ear nose throat doctor. I would like to call you Tizzy. And like he's throwing a tizzy? No. No, no, no. That Tizzy. I mean that just sounds cool. So you have to tell us which one of those you like. We already have a Dizzy. Why do we We need a Tizzy. Tizzy is not Dizzy. Well, he calls himself Tiz Turp. I, what? Yeah. No, oh, I know that, but no, what is his, his chat room? What is okay. his chat room nickname? Tizzy. I think I Tizzy or E Tizzy. Is it Ian or Ian? Do we even know? <laughs> see, that's the thing. His name is Ian. You can see it on the screen Yes, there. but some people pronounce that Ian. We have a chrome of Andrew Benintendi. Okay. Yes. That is not numbered. Thank you, Ian. So, would you rather be called Tizzy or E Tizzy or I Tizzy? Because ear, nose, throat ain't cool. <laughs> Jack Flaherty, Red Foil, Red Foil insert, Emperors of the Zone, John Smoltz. Now, the nicknames don't always stick. Okay, so here's that card again. And yeah, that is obviously something to do with the photo. So yeah, okay. That's interesting. All right. Ever since I've known Chris, though, it brings him joy to give people the most derpy nicknames ever. Let's see. Oh, I got tizzy. called Tizzy when I was uh, a kid. So would you like to revisit your child? Or maybe be more original with you, is I oh, think what he's oh, actually he's saying. I think say. he would like to be known for being a doctor of ear, nose, and throat situations. Or a nickname that traumatized him when he was a he, kid. Pick not one. everybody had a, trauma, <laughs> a traumatic childhood. Corey Kluber, Emperors of the Zone. Still uh, looking for one final autograph. That's going to be in this pack. Nah, it's going to be in the pack that's in my hand. No. She said defiantly. I'll answer to most... Oh! Ryan Dozier, I forget that he plays for the Nats now. We don't talk about that. David Ortiz. 
Alex Bregman beam team. I oh I was wrong. You no. were wrong. I've already pointed to it. It's not this one. It's the next one. What did he say? I'll answer to most anything, but especially in IT. But I'll take Tiz or Tizzy. That's right. Okay. So LQ1. That argument, I believe, is what it was. ENT sounds good to me. I think Tizzy is where it's at. Put it up there. Francisco Lindor, Power Zone, Christian Yelich. Ruth. Okay, so LQ thinks the auto is in here, so we'll open that last. Oh. You don't believe it. They're just trying to put pressure on me. No. Come on. Alright, here, here it comes. You ready? Johnny Behind? Bunch. Behind? No. No, oh. no, the Johnny Bunch is great. Oh, you might be right. You might be right. Unless we already pulled our two autographs out of this box. Ooh, I think. Yep, there's a little ink there. Okay. LQ was right. The last auto was out of that pack. Record that. Okay. Behind the Juan Marichal red. Let's pull up the team board just so we can congratulate whoever it is right away. Our final auto out of the Pogo break. Nick Birdie for the Pirates. Oh, wow. And the Pirates are going to GCRL. That's Jim H. That is his second hit tonight. Nice. GCRL, that's his uh, blog nickname. I think that's an, uh, a biblical inscription. Oh, it is. Mm-hmm. Something 21-3. <laughs> All right. All right, well, that does it for the pogo. Woo! I moved, I moved my drink so you can move your cards. All right, here's the hit recap for the half-case pogo. We've got Nick Birdie for the Pirates. Ryan Barucki, this is a black for the Blue Jays. Brad Keller for the Royals. Adam Simber for the Indians. Another Barucki, this is the base for the Blue Jays. Cesar Hernandez for the Phillies. Tyler Skaggs, Angels. DJ Stewart for the Orioles. Bob Gibson, insert auto. Number nine of 25, that is hit of the night potential as far as I'm concerned. Framber Valdez, Astros. Chance Adams, a little bit of dry marker action. For the Yankees. Freddie Freeman. Braves numbered 4 of 10. This is hit of the night potential at this point. Max Muncy for the Dodgers. Nicholas C. Ufo for the Rays. Adolis Garcia for the Cardinals. And Michael Kopech starting things off for the White Sox. All right, folks, that does it for the Half Case Pogo. We're going to take a couple minutes to reset. We will see you back here in just a couple minutes for the first of two Dual Box Hybrid Breaks, and we'll see you soon.
Welcome back, folks. It is just about time to do our dual box hybrid number one. If you're just joining us and watching us on YouTube, please be sure to give us a thumbs up if you're enjoying what you're watching and be sure to also vote in the poll at the top of the video to let us know what you thought of this break. And of course, tonight it's all about charity as it has been all year long. So far this month, we've raised almost $750 for Human Rights Campaign. If you are in YouTube right now and you wanna help us increase that donation amount, click that little dollar symbol in the chat room and any tip or donation that you send to us tonight will go directly to that charity. Uh, we love all the help that you've been giving us uh, all year long. We really couldn't do any of this without you folks. So thank you all for the huge amount of help that you give us this year and all of your ger uh, generosity it's been totally huge and it's been a lot of fun too so i'm, I'm so happy that uh, you folks are in on this with us it's, it's just been great so uh, if you want to help out even further go ahead and do that for us but time to start cracking some more wax we've got two boxes it's a triple team break pick one team get two random teams first of all let's roll the dice let's see how many dice do i have in here three let's just pull them out all right let's roll these and see how many times we're randomizing everything we'll be randomizing everything two times snake eyes so this is the hybrid break number one so if you're in either of the hybrid breaks this is hybrid break number one These are the unpicked teams from this break. A's down to twins. Gonna go to random.org, drop them in here. Gonna randomize twice. We'll bring that into our uh, team assignments. Drop that in there. We will take our 10 wax crackers. We will do the same. Go. And that's the assignments for teams 11 through 20. Now to do the back third. My nephew, Caden, was just showing me that he uh, busted open a pack of leather and lumber. And actually, uh, if you saw on Twitter, LQ actually opened her own box of leather and lumber just the other day. there take our original 10 wax crackers and this will be the last randomization One and two. all right team assignments for stadium club dual box triple team hybrid number one is as follows dame debbie with the phillies White Sox, D-backs, Giants, Orioles, and Rangers. Dan B with the Cubs, Indians, and Brewers. Grizz, you've got the Nationals, Royals, and Marlins. John E, you've got a big chunk. You've got Angels, Blue Jays, Padres, Yankees. Mariners, Dodgers, Rays, Pirates, Mets, A's, Tigers, and Twins. Kim K with the Red Sox, Reds, and Astros. Michael M, you've got the rest with the Cardinals, Braves, and Rockies. Hello again, LQ. Yes, bring it on over. Okay, let's bring up the clock. It is 6.47 our time. We will give you until 6.49 our time to make any trades that you might want to make. And go. So, um, Caden was just texting. Yeah. He pulled a Jose Reyes triple relic. Oh, wow. And he said, have you ever done Leather and Lumber? Uh, yes. And yeah, Aunt Amy certainly did. So very, very cool. Fun. Yeah. Nice job, Kaden. That's a that's a darn good one to pull, too. <laughs> nice New York Mets. I like the look Rally. of that product. I know that we won't. Yeah, well, I might get a couple boxes down the road. Yeah, I'm just. Case, right? No, probably not a case. There are some Panini products that will be easier to sell than others uh, as, uh -huh. a, as a case. No. More like... Immaculate, National Treasures, Flawless, that sort of thing. They're awesome, high-end stuff, yeah. And I, of course, really enjoy 
um, Chronicles. We'll be doing that again this year. Why do you like that? It's just fun. Oh, it's just so fun. It for me, it's fun. Because they have, it's an, it's like the best of Panini, basically. They, it's 15 different, or 20 this year, different products all in one. Like, you can pull this year 20 different um, Acuna cards or Otani cards. And <laughs> Well, only if she buys the Angels. She hasn't been consistent. She hasn't consistently been buying the Angels. Yeah, but she does like them. I don't see trades happening. It is 6.49. We'll close up the trade window. Well, is Ron... Wait, no. Jacob's still in the room. Because thoughts and prayers. I remember being a college-age girl. <laughs> all right. I'm going to close all this down. Take the clock down. Take the screen off. We will make our team board. And we will crack that wax in just a moment. You'll be happy to note that ENT will not be represented <laughs> in this break. Well, Tizzy is always here. I feel like we need a nickname for King K. I think that's a fine nickname the way it is. <laughs> Yeah, she's a little bit more badass than just... Kim I'm not saying K. she's not a badass by any stretch of the imagination. She is like... I like her. Well, yeah, I like her too. She's kind of broad. <laughs> I like her. All right. All right, that's our team board. I'm going to pull down the chat room and the team board, and let's crack that wax. This is hybrid break number one. Same configuration as the uh, other boxes, of course. 16 packs, eight cards per pack, two autos. Now it says two on-card autos in every box, which I, I don't think they uh, that was correct because some of those are sticker autos. I think they should have left off the verbiage on-card. Not that anyone's gonna take them to court over that or anything, so. I like these pencils. Have at them. Really? Yeah, I wasn't using them. Why'd you buy them? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. So we've got a Juan Soto oversized box loader to start things off. And again, I'll be discussing the over, uh, oversized cards with the purchasers just so we can figure out how we're going to ship this off. But we'll keep them in their original wrappers. LQ is a bit of a uh, school supply. Not or home. Uh, is there here? Nice. Oh yeah, but then it's it's, is it safe? LQ made a drink for me, so let's see what we've got in here. Th thanks again, Mom, for the mug. Or thermos? What do we call it? Uh, thermos sounds like I'm having soup. Yes. <laughs> I would say it's Oh, and it is soup. No. <laughs> so you, you, made a, you made me a Captain you, and Coke. Yes. Can you imagine if I literally brought down soup? soup? On a 100 degree day? Yeah, thanks for the soup on a 100 degree day. Oh, do. Yeah, that's great. Okay. All right, who's still in the chat room? Yeah. I need to interact. Well, that's that's the problem with me taking these quick little breaks is that everyone else is taking a break too and they have no idea when I'm coming back. Well, so. we're back. We are back. Bo Jackson Red. I think Oh, I think she does. She uh, she said she was going to hop in and she was like nervous about it. Is it going to be weird if... Kathy. Get in the chat room. Yeah, LQ needs entertainment. And also, I know that, you know, our nephew, when you are... Jose Barrios. years old, he's <laughs> What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Travel mug, sure. It is actually Captain. Vilma's still here. Hello, Vilma. Hello, guys. Now say her name. Vilma Jimenez. There you go. Black and white of Barry Larkin. Cool. I feel like Travel Mug is correct, but I feel like there's another name for it. Like Tumblr? Tumblr, there you go. I'll tumble for you. Oh. This is a red foil beam team of Alex Bregman. Yes, cool. Okay, here's the thing. You don't need to be old to know that song. True. Okay. <laughs> you listen to that song, so then you are. No? No. What? No. Hello again. <laughs> Yes, 
So I have a coworker. Who... <laughs> Reed's giving me an assignment. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, yeah, oh, whoa, oh, Miles Straw. We've got I an autograph of that. Miles Straw for the Astros. Our first of four hits out of this break. Astros going to Kim K, the badass herself. That's right. I will, how about that for me? Badass herself. Wow. Maybe. That's that's hit of the night potential. Badass herself. A BH going there. Culture Club reference. That's right. Mm hmm. They're two songs. Sorry. I got her in one of her hundred bruises. She bruises like a banana. Just. Masahiro Tanaka, you're. I, I feel bad for you. I mean, like, you don't even remember half of them. No, I do too. I ran into it. That door. one, yes. But I, I was trying to hold the door for somebody and I missed the door. That <laughs> one, but I said half. <laughs> Admiral Nelson? Oh, it, look at that, Vilma. Look at that. Look at these people. Wanting LQ to break. Team LQ. Beam Team Manny Machado. Y'all are too sweet. That's because you were the luckiest breaker in the world with that box of Definitive. Wait, I think the lady's break 5,000 years ago was still your best break ever that you bought into. So just, you know. I probably don't even have those cards anymore. Recognize. I probably gave them all away. <clears throat> Aaron Judge, Power Zone. Reese Lightning. Warp speed, what did you say this was? I thought, it, uh, no, I don't remember. No. Black. Well, what was it? It was dumb, whatever it was, and now I can't remember. Oh! <laughs> Warp speed, it was like, uh... Watch. No. Watch list. No. Anybody remember what I said stupidly before? <laughs> <laughs> uh, generic captain tastes the same. Okay, what generic captain? Are you talking about that uh, Sailor Jerry? Oh, yeah. Uh, here's a Jacob de Grum Chrome. I was Chrome. wondering about that. But that is not numbered. I know. Maybe we're just snobby. Probably. Um, we like paying, overpaying for stuff. No, no, but if there's a generic that's actual, I don't know. Chris Reed, no, like no. a frat boy. Reed, so if, you're, if, if you're buzzed slash drunk enough, I'm sure it does taste the same. It does, too. Eloy. You know Eloy that, Jimenez. You know people red. that start with the expensive stuff and move to cheap pretty quickly. We will not name names in this chat room. Does his name begin with Z Money by any chance? <laughs> That's another version. Okay, well, what's the version? Well, here? yeah. On the if it, it's not Sailor Jerry, then it must be like some kind of like Cub Foods no, like no, knockoff. No, no. What would the other one be then? So like, uh, like, not like Captain. Well, he says Ad, he says Admiral Nelson. What the hell is that? Like Cad Captain Morgan, well, Admiral Nelson. That. So I've never seen that up here. I've only seen I haven't Sailor either. Jerry I don't know. Admiral Nelson. <laughs> that's no, like what? that's like the Market Pantry. Mopping John. Poop Deck John. <laughs> always laugh once a year. Always there get her go. with the poop jokes. Yep. Strong drinks from the get go. There you go. Reed. We've got a Cedric Mullins <laughs> autograph. As LQ is dying of poop joke laughter, Cedric Mullins Orioles oh, so going to Dame Debbie. Dame Debbie. <laughs> I've got a feeling this might still end up with Mr. Ginter, but Dame Debbie, it's yours for now. Oh my God. So we are halfway through the hits from this break, unless we get uh, a surprise <laughs> bonus hit. And Coke. That's what we like here. And oh, I'm not, we have festival foods in lacrosse. We I'll do, check yeah. That out. Now we, uh, <laughs> there is a chance that we would have. Oh. A redemption. I don't know that I've seen any redemptions anywhere online yet for this product. I think uh, Tops was pretty good at making sure that uh, they didn't need redemptions for this. But uh, if we do happen across a redemption, of course, we do have our redemption game. There's a Chipper Jones Power Zone.
Now, LQ, we've got festivals up here too, don't we? Or is it j just the one? Okay. Warp Speed, Ronald Acuna. That was box number one. Oh, come on. Corners. There we go. Oh, Yelich has redemptions. Okay. So if we happen to happen across that, then of course we'll we'll have our little game to play. And while we are not having we while we don't do wax bucks on the website anymore, we are keeping wax bucks around for things like this. So you can still win wax bucks through our little game. We've got a Juan Soto oversized and of course suffering from chipping on the backside again. Just like all the other oversized cards. Ham, Bill Hamilton. Nice. Here's a nice insert. Instavision, Bryce Harper. Nice. I was thinking this pack felt a little tight, but uh, <laughs> every time I say that, I'm wrong. Nice Bryce Harper Instavision. Who has the Nats tonight? Grizz getting the nice insert. That is cool. There you go, Grizz. Yeah, that is the second Soto. I'll have to look at the other one and see if uh, that's a parallel of some sort. I don't think so. Altuve Red. Mike Trout Beam Team. I gotta believe we still have something big coming up. You've got 16 boxes in a case. I don't think we've already come across our biggest hits yet. Nolan Ryan, Power Zone, Matt Kemp. We've, put, we've pulled some good items so far, but I don't think we're done yet. Although with the run that we've been on <laughs> recently, uh, it wouldn't surprise me if uh, we get one of the, I don't want to say duller cases, but Cal Ripken Jr. Beam Team. Power Zone, Mark McGuire. Ryan Braun, this is a black here. Looking for our first autograph of the second box of this break. And there it is, Freddy Peralta. Nice. That is a cool autograph. Well, card, I should say. Freddy Peralta Brewers. Going to Dan B. Now, normally, the player that's in focus is the one... Uh, that gets the card, but Peralta is at the forefront, and <laughs> this is a very unique pose. Uh, the camera is not blurry here. He himself on the photo on the card is blurred out. It's his card, so very unique. Congratulations, Dan B. That is our first auto out of this box. One more to go. Speed and a 
Alberto Mondesi. Steven Duggar, red. So Juan Soto, chrome, not numbered. Dale Murphy, black parallel. Carlos Rodan, red parallel. That's our second chrome of the box. This is Gary Sanchez. I believe this is numbered. It's a refractor, and it is numbered 81 of 99. Definitely not a bad box at this point. Two chromes, an InstaVision insert. Freddy Peralta autograph, looking for one more auto. Power Emperors of the Zone. Miguel Cabrera, and there we go. Jake Cave. Minnesota Twins. Jake using the whole card for his autograph. I love it. Very nice. Twins are going to John E. Getting our boys, the Twins. Congrats, John. I believe John or uh, the Twins were one of the random teams too. Nice. Nice auto of the Caveman. Love it. Getting a Brewers auto and a Twins auto. The uh, the Midwest box. Of course, uh, Twins and Brewers used to be pretty big rivals before the Brewers were shipped off to the National League. There's a reason why they're red. And they, they still have their kind of rivalry. Boy, Brewers fans travel to Target Field really well, let me tell you. They are loud at Target Field. Warp Speed, Trey Turner. Final pack of this break. A lot of Twins guys actually do have really nice autographs because that's just something that uh, was passed down by Harmon Killebrew and Michael Kadire, guys like that. Brian Dozier is another guy with a good autograph. Miguel Andujar, Power Zone. All right, that does it for hybrid break number one. All right, our hit recap for hybrid break number one, Jake Cave, Twins. Pull up the team board. Freddie Peralta, Brewers. Cedric Mullins, Orioles. Miles Straw, Astros. All right, remember, if you're watching on YouTube, please give us a thumbs up if you're enjoying what you're watching here and vote in the poll. Let us know what you thought of this break. We're going to take a couple minutes to reset, and we will be back with hybrid break number two. See you in just a couple minutes.
All right, welcome back, folks. We are about ready to do hybrid break number two. And thanks for those who are just joining us. And if you clicked in to the timestamp in our description box down below to get here for this break, thank you for doing that. And uh, if you're enjoying what you're watching, as we just said, please give us a thumbs up on the YouTube page. And uh, also subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of our content and live breaks in the future. So up next is our second dual box hybrid break, which will be run exactly the same as the last one, except this time we're gonna roll the dice again. How many dice do I have in here? I've got three, let's take one out. And we'll see how many times we're gonna be randomizing everything for this break. We are gonna be randomizing, dice are stacked. Let's try that again. There we go, we're gonna be randomizing nine times. All right, so we're gonna take the teams that were not picked in this break, A's to twins, randomizing at random.org, doing that nine times. So I mentioned it in the chat room, you might see that on the screen, that uh, at one of these days we should do a big Crack and Wax twins game up here, get everybody up here for a game. I think that would be fun if, uh, what, do you, what do you folks think? I think that'd be awesome. Get uh, some of the local people here that uh, maybe not, might not be twins fans, but uh, our collectors or uh, friends of Crack and Wax or whatever, get them out to Target Field for a game. Get people like uh, Michael and Kelly. Bunch of different people we could find. That might be fun. Come on now. Here we go. Take our 10 wax crackers. We'll randomize you nine times. Hell, we might even invite LQ. That'd be fun, huh? First round of beers on LQ. How about that? <laughs> okay. We'll get everybody to go then. So that's the assignment for the middle teams, 11 through 20. Take the back 10, the back third. Randomize them nine times. LQ's back, and uh, so what we decided while you were gone, LQ, is we're going to get a bunch of people at the Twins game, and you're yeah. buying the first round of beer for everyone. No, that is incorrect. That is correct. That is incorrect. We're going to have a whole suite to ourselves. Oh. Well, that's fancy and fun. Take our 10 wax crackers. We will do that one more time. Oh. Oh, did you? Was it good the second day? Uh, Without a microwave? Okay, so the assignments for the Stadium Club Dual Box Triple Team Hybrid Number Two <coughs> is as follows. Debbie with the Phillies, White Sox, Orioles, Indians, Royals, and Marlins. Jim H, that's GCRL, Dodgers, Pirates, Rockies, Grizz. You've got the Blue Jays, Braves, Tigers, John E, Mets, Padres, Yankees, Reds, Cubs, Diamondbacks, Mariners, Cardinals, and my twins. Kim K with the Red Sox, A's and Rays. PR Nuts, that's Scott. You've got the Angels, Giants, and Brewers. Vilma with the rest with the Angel. I'm sorry, Astros, Rangers, and Nationals. Okay, so let's bring some stuff up here. It is 7.13 our time. We will give you till 7.15 our time to make any trades that you may want to make and go. Vilma says, where's LQ? She's right here. I just got back. You just got back. Collect to lock. Got about a minute left. No trades so far tonight. Trades are always so fun because it usually ends up being the person that traded away. Their team ends up being very sad because then Debbie gets a pretty good tattoos out of that body. Right. <laughs> well, 
Well, he's not in any of these breaks. Tonight, so. Who's the cantaloupe this week? Yeah, who's... <laughs> nobody, apparently. No, Not even any uh, trade really? offers have happened at all tonight. Yeah. Okay, I'm not seeing any action here. It's 7.15, let's call trades are closed. Not until, collect till. There's a difference. There you go. There you go. Trades work better when more are here. You know what? That's true, but there are plenty of people here. It's just that, you know, people just aren't. Uh... Okay, please. Good one, Alkyo. Twitter poll. <laughs> what took you so long? So are you recovered from the, the poop deck joke now? No, that was... Well, no one else laughed, so that's, that was just, that was all on you, I don't... <laughs> well, At least I know how to make you laugh once. Right? All right, folks, let's crack some wax, shall we? Yes. There's the team board for this particular break. Pull down that screen. We'll pull down the chat room, and let's crack that wax. All right, the phone's ringing. Call it. I feel like there was someone else in there. Nope, that's it. Just done. No, whatever. No, no. Okay, wait. No. Put up the thing again. You, you, listen. Didn't you just say you were uh, watching? You've got the chat room there. Okay, Ian? I'm not scrolling Scroll anything. Scroll up. I'm not. I'm breaking. I'm not scrolling anything. Dude, <laughs> I'm sitting by the computer. I'm gonna scroll, and you're gonna get all kicked off. You get in the chat room and you do it yourself. I can't. All right, our oversized card from box oh my God. number one is Shohei Otani. Ugh. Put it up. And this one's actually fairly clean. There's a little ding on the bottom corners and some chipping at the bottom, but. Uh, who, who is? Who, who is? That is exactly. Scroll up. LQ is really... lq -y. Poly three jobs. I'm, you know, I can't... Uh, I think it was Polly. I can't Maybe. really recall. There's Jacob. Oh, there we go. I, I, I don't know. Polly and Jacob. That's, I don't know. That's who I wanted to know about. What about David and Ark? I already have him. Yeah. All right. Well, David don't Ark. don't ask me everyone's uh, okay. Twitter Where handles because I don't know. Jacob? Jacob R. Poly three jobs. All right. Okay, I'm busy. I know. <laughs> Let me work. I'm working for charity, okay? Oh my God, you damn martyr! Jacob Rudder. Just follow every Jacob Rudder you can find. Well, that's a problem. There's a bunch. Well, sounds like a problem for you to have. Uh, Kevin Kramer is a red foil. There's a Ronald Acuna, and I guarantee you this Ronald Acuna is a short print variation. It is, in fact, a short print image variation. So that's going to be hit potential of the night. There's only one or two per case. Braves. Grizz. Zed Grizz from Canada without air conditioning. Ronald Acuna is going to be one of the big short prints to pull. So this is, this is not a bad thing to have. So we're going to put that off to the side. Okay. And that'll be top loaded, and we'll we'll put that in hit of the potential contention so far Did for now. Go by Jacob R? I don't know why. You need to be helpful. I'm doing stuff. Jeez. <laughs> Anthony Rendon, red parallel. Wolf fart. Jacob, follow me. I don't know. I don't have you. I can't find you. Polly three jobs. I'm following him. We're good. Jock Peterson, Black Parallel. Paul, you need a photo on Twitter, my man. Is he still an egg? He's a, no, they don't do anything. Like I know, it stuff. was a joke. Oh, your jokes are stupid. All right, what else we got? <sighs> let's talk. Get in the chat room, let's be chatty chatty. Shohei Otani, Emperors of the Zone.
There's a red parallel of Rudnet Odor. And a Ryan O'Hearn autograph for the Royals. Royals, in this break, going to Dame Debbie again. Congrats, Deb. Our new Royals guy, Randy Johnson. I, I, he must have left. Now that he's gone, we're pulling <laughs> Royals hits. Chris Sale Beam Team. Speed, Billy Hamilton. That must be going a little faster than I expected. <laughs> Ronald Acuna, Power Zone. Josh Bell, Red Parallel. Josh Bell, Red Parallel. You're lively enough for all of us, I think. There's a Yachty Molina, Black and White, followed by a Tuki Toussaint Chrome. Not numbered. So we've talked before about going to... Well, obviously, it's been when we visited Debbie. We talk about a lot. We talk about going to Debbie and Andrew, yeah, we visited. We talk about going to the National. We talk about so many things, and we don't do any of them. (laughs) There's a Kenley Jansen Black. Steven Strasburg, Emperors of the Zone. What? Victor Robles, Red. One more autograph we're looking for out of this box. There's a red Sammy Sosa. Dang it. Followed by Jake Bowers autograph. Indians. Rookie card autograph going to Dame Debbie. Debbie sweep in the box. Congrats, Dame Debbie. Not only that, but uh, it's an American League Central sweep. <laughs> Reese Hoskins power zone. Well, just just throw that anywhere. <laughs> Final pack of box number one. go box number two after this we'll do a hit recap and then we will reset for a couple of minutes and we'll get into our random division after the random division it's our triple box mixer brought to you by literal quirk what you're doing that break remember (coughs) they they called for you to do that break i I will announce announce what And this oversized card is a dupe of the very first oversized card that we pulled earlier in the day. This is Nolan Arenado, so this is a good reason why not to do a full case break of Stadium Club. But, you know, 
No big deal. Ain't big deal. So I think our chat room has up and left us. It is, uh... I said you were lively enough for everybody. And I think everyone seems to be agreeing with me. There's a red of Craig Kimbrell. Bryce Harper, followed by a red warp speed of Mookie Betts. Vilma says, still here, just getting cards together. Thank you, Vilma. Thank you. Vilma, would you come up to Target Field? There's a black parallel of Clayton Kershaw. I think we should be pulling a gold mint. We pulled one last year. I can't remember whose it was. But that would be cool. Emperors of the Zone Gear. Cole. David Price, Red Parallel, and our autograph is La Tortuga. I've been wanting to pull this. Oh my gosh, nice. Willens Ostadio, rookie. Who pulled that for me? Twins going to Johnny naturally. John E, thank you so much for that hit for LQ's collection. John, thanks for giving LQ our first ever Willens Ostadio autograph. Nice. Awesome. Oh. Beam Team Ken Griffey Jr. Warp Speed, Francisco Lindor. King Griffey Jr., Power Zone Insert, followed by a Chrome Jacob deGrom. That is not numbered. Looking for one more autograph. That should be the only Chrome. Should be the only chrome out of this box. As we've seen, some boxes do contain a couple of chrome cards. There's a red Buster Posey. Oh, that's a base card. I just don't think I've seen that one before. Could be wrong. Maybe I just blew past it. Red Francisco Mejia. There's a black parallel. Cody Bellinger. Dennis Eckersley, Emperors of the Zone. Red of Don Mattingly and Patrick Wisdom. 
Rookie autograph for the Rangers. Rangers are going to Vilma. Vilma Jimenez. Woo! Very nice. Now, Patrick Will, uh, Wisdom was the very first Silver Pack auto we ever pulled. I remember that. That was earlier this year. Now we've got a nice Stadium Club rookie auto to go with that. Congrats, Vilma. See, Vilma's coming to Target Field. That's why she got it. <laughs> That's uh, coming to Target Field Mojo? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll create that Mojo statement. <laughs> Who else is in the chat room? I mean, I'm totally fine just chat with no one. I'm absolutely... I think you two should just chat it up. Well, we should. There's a red Carlton Fisk. A couple packs left. Warp Speed, Whit Merrifield. Oh, you got him in person. Cool. Nice. Final pack. Yeah. <laughs> There's a power zone, Aaron Judge. And that'll do it. All right, here's the hit recap of Dual Box Hybrid number two. If you're watching this in replay, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. If you like what you see here, we've got a Patrick Wisdom autograph for the Rangers. La Tortuga for the Twins. Willens Ostadio, rookie auto. Jake Bowers, Indians. And Ryan O'Hearn, Royals. A lot of American League Central autographs coming out of these two boxes. And then, of course, we've got the Ronald Acuna Jr. short print variation. All right, that does it for hybrid break number two. We're going to reset for a couple of minutes. We'll come back with our dual box random division. Wish me luck. And uh, we will see you in just a couple of minutes.
All right, welcome back, everybody. It is time to dive into our random division dual box, and then after that, it is the triple box mixer. Ronald, welcome back. Good to Hello, see you back. Ronald. So now we've got Vilma, Ron, we've got Reed, and anyone else <laughs> who might be back there. All right, folks. So this one's going to be our random division. And we're just going to treat this like the other breaks where I'm just going to take this. We're going to roll the dice. And remember, if you're watching this from the timestamps in our description box in YouTube down below, thank you for doing that. Please give us a thumbs up if you're enjoying what you're watching and vote in the poll. Let us know what you thought of the break. And like, share, subscribe, all the YouTube things. Here we go. We're going to be randomizing 10 times. Yeah, but LQ, do you like it that we're doing it this way now? It's fine. It's fine. Okay, let's go and randomize 10 times. Now, firstly, we're going to be randomizing the divisions 10 times. There we go. And now the wax crackers. Doing that ten times. And we will be allowing trades, but I don't think anybody that's in this break is currently in the chat room, but uh, maybe they snuck in. Who knows? All right, that's ten times. Boom. All right, folks, let's bring up the clock. It is 7.37 our time. We will give you till 7.39 our time to make any trades that you may want to make. And go. No, Ron, I don't. I, I think you said you're in the uh, the triple break, and that's right after this one. So as soon as we get done with it, uh, with this, that's yours. That's the finest museum stadium thing, whatever I called it. <laughs> whatever I called it. Oh my God. Finest museum club, I think, is what I called it. Ah. Got one minute left. Like I said, I don't think any of these folks, so Scott, Alex, T, that's Zegres, Lori, or Kim K, I don't think I've seen them at all. YouTube says only three here. That's not a surprise. This is going to be a tough weekend to get anybody in. <laughs> like I said, a lot of people are using this as their 4th of July weekend, so I'm not really that surprised. Um, Whoa, wait, Diane? Did you say? No. Oh, I thought you said Diane. Like, Whoa. No. Oh. Was she in the chat? Way earlier, yeah. She still? I doubt it. Shoot. Yeah. Get a chance to chat. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's gonna be tough. Saturday nights, you know, people got things to do, especially on this weekend. Next weekend as well, but on uh, unfortunately we don't have anything to break next weekend. So then I get a vacation. You, you're an intern. You can vacate anytime you like. I cannot. That's a problem. <laughs> All right. Heather. It is 7.39 our time. There are no trades. I, that was, I saw that coming a million miles away. All right. We will make the team board, and we will get going in just a moment. What was that? What was that? What was that? Yeah, but those folks aren't even in here. That's what I'm saying. Nobody nobody that's in this break is in the but room. people could trade with themselves. Ron could say, hey, Ron, do you want this? And Ron could say yes. Ron's not that kind of guy. He's you not know? He's not the Canto type of guy. Ron is any kind of guy he wants to be. Huh? <laughs> Ron's just here to watch his break. He wants us to get going with this one so we can get to his break. Though. All right, here's the team board. As soon as I can find that button, <laughs> there it is. 
There it is. Oh, look at that. So my scroll bar is covering that up a little bit, but there it is. AL Central, Scott, AL East, Alex, AL West, Lori, NL Central, Alex, NL East, Lori, and NL West, Kim K. Oh, nice. That's your crack and wax mail day. Very cool. All right, let's crack that wax. I'm going to pull down the team board. I'm going to pull down the chat room. We will crack that wax. There we go. That's what I to see. Okay, first box. As opposed to football. Which is different than any other day. You never know. And our dupe oversized card is a... Wow, LQ. I'm sure they heard that. Uh, Babe Ruth. <laughs> I don't believe they did. I think they did. A little bit of chipping on the edges there. That goes to our AL East. I don't need to. No, then I'll pop up the other thing. Got a red Evan Longoria, followed by a Vlad Jr. rookie. Hard to hear LQ over the music. I only heard her name. Well, that's that's, right. that's don't worry about it, yeah. Man. Don't worry about it. I totally didn't burn. Don't worry about it. Here's a red Todd Helton. Bless you. Bless you a thousand times. Uh -huh. Emperors of the Zone, Luis Severino. Black and white of Lewis Brinson. Hey, he heard that. Oh, oh crap. Christopher Lawson. Well, there goes our game. Here's a Kristen Stewart. Call your shot. I call Kristen Stewart. He's Louise. Well, I didn't know that was back there. I saw it. Well, that... Thank you, Ronald. Bless, well, I was, for blessing me. I was looking at you. Oh. Kristen Stewart, I believe, is Tigers. If that's the case. Uh, that's AL Central. That should be going to Scott P., Yep. Wow. So that's more than likely going to be for just Scott. Hideous at that game. I am not. I was looking at you, and I totally well, I'm didn't see. Sure you're pretty bad at that. Oh yeah, you could do better. I could. You oh, then you it. do the next break then. No. Okay. Well, then you be quiet. No. Oh boy. Yep. Read exactly. Do it again. Shut up. Do the spinny thing and let people play for something. Well, what are they supposed to call? Like, uh, I don't know. I'm what are they I supposed thought, to call? I don't, I don't. Harrison Bader, Warp Speed, a chrome of Nolan Arenado. Of this is numbered no, uh, 3 of 99 That's for the Rockies. The that I'm of right you could just change that number. No, no one couldn't. I write it down on a post it. Like Shallot? Yeah. I didn't write it on a Shallot post it. Mm hmm. Jeez Louise. Oh. Oh. Beam Team Ichiro. Beam, beam. Tizzy, Doe is right. <laughs> Stop hitting me. Stop it. I'm not kidding. I literally was tapping him on the shoulder. Power Stone, Kyle Schwarber. Flipping dramatic. Okay. Oh, unreal. Ow. Oh. <laughs> 
Okay, Mike Trout, red, followed by another chrome. This is Jose Canseco. This is not numbered. He just hurt himself trying to be a smart aleck. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's mm -hmm. what happened. Stop mm -hmm. Like, you know what's up. Mm -hmm. That was probably a parallel. Let me show you. LQ. Are you really blaming me for this nonsense? Um, I don't see where the beam team parallel would be. Looking, 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 looking. For beam team parallels. Let's see. Beam team parallel. That is not a parallel. That's just each row's beam team card. <laughs> okay. Tizzy. Back to the break. I'm stretching. Brian Anderson, black parallel. Who me, coach? So are you actually going to do that break no. or not? Oh, well, then shut up about it. <laughs> I will be here. Um, you can't talk in the last break. I will talk the whole thing. I will turn the music up. Paul you Goldschmidt. Not be the music up. Red parallel. Probably a hit in this pack, I'm going to guess. Mariano Rivera, Power Zone, followed by Mariano Rivera. So no hit out of that pack. No, I think the beam teams are just team colors. Because that, uh, that was a Mariners team color. And I believe all the other beam teams I've seen were different colors. I could be wrong. I'm off, wrong often. Well, there's our autograph. Behind the Yusei Kikuchi Red, we've got an autograph of Taylor Ward for the Angels. That should be AL West. Angels, AL West going to Lori V. Lori. Congrats, Lori. If we, uh, if we come across some more beam teams, we'll check that out. But I honestly thought that they were just using team colors on all of them. Could be wrong. Justin Smoke, red parallel. And I would think that if there were insert parallels, that they would be numbered as well. So what is this? Just an insert that uh, Stadium Club has done for years and years and years. Warp Speed, Mookie Warp. Betts. What did I think it was? I don't know. I have no idea. Wow. Bo Jackson, Power Zone. And that was box number one. Well, you get your chance to open one if you... Like I said, I will be talking. Well, that's not a surprise. <laughs> oh. Yeah, uh, you're exasperated. I'm always exasperated. I'm very confused. Why do you come down here, then? I don't know. You <laughs> tell me to on the internet. I, I didn't listen. tell you anything. You said come down. And I said, okay. Oversized box loader. Ricky Henderson. Getting a lot of oversized dupes. They must not have a ton of these. Kind of a cool card, but it is dinged up on the corner. We'll send that to Tony. Yeah, unfortunately, the, uh, the quality is not going to get a good grade if you're going to send those in. I don't think so. That's why I said I would talk to everyone about shipping them because not everyone wants their oversized cards because not everyone knows what the hell to do with them. And they can end up actually being kind of a pain to ship because they don't fit in your standard, well, at least my standard shipping boxes anyway. So I'm not saying I won't ship them, but I'm saying that if you don't want them, I'll, I'll do something else with them, you know. Christian Yelich, red parallel, Ken Griffey Jr. Power Zone. That is numbered. This is a orange parallel, 2250. Nice. All right, so we got Ronald and Ian. Actively chatting. 
Well, are Ish. they really actively yes, chatting? Yes. They're just. No, no. Listen, I'm talking to them. You're obsessed with the chat room. You. <laughs> I like the chat room. It's, fun. it's one of my favorite parts of break. Andrelton Simmons, red parallel. You're obsessed with these Anyways, welcome to our very <laughs> Um, Alright, so I was wondering if anybody's going to any good summer concerts. Because Lorenzo Kane, Black Parallel. We used up our good concert with Failure. What was a good concert? Didn't we go to something else this year? Was that the only thing? With the Stranger Things, right? That's not a concert. But that was my birthday. Your birthday was Failure, my birthday was baseball. So you're saying my birthday was better? Tuki Toussaint, Red, and our first autograph is Kevin Kramer, Pirates. Right, Pirates are NL Central. And the NL Central goes to Alex T. That's Grizz. Zed Grizz from Canada. They can't hear you. That's what chatting. They can't hear you. They probably think all oh, that sneezing and coughing you're doing are going to get them sick. Uh, Noah Syndergaard. And behind that, we have, ooh, is this our gold mint? Jeff McNeil. Hmm, well, it's, it's a refractor. It says refractor. Uh, the gold mint would have been numbered one of one, so this is not a gold mint, but this is a gold refractor of some sort, which is not numbered. I am actually awfully surprised it's not numbered. But there you go. Not bad. One autograph left in the random division. Let's see. Uh, Ronald Ronaldson Robinson says base. Beam team set checklist, 25 cards, 116 packs, parallel cards, red, black. Yeah, and that's the foil stamping. So we'll look through, and I know we've pulled some red foil stamped beam teams already. That Ichiro did not look like it was. Maybe it was a black and I just didn't notice it. That could possibly be. Like this Jacob deGrom, this is the base, but it's using the team colors. And again, it wasn't numbered, so um, so if it wasn't numbered, it could have been could have been the red. Not sure. Uh, Todd Helton, Power Zone. Yeah, and I didn't see, I didn't think I saw red on that particular one. Warp Speed, Victor Robles. Here's a red parallel, Franmil Reyes and Ozzy Elbies, Chrome, non numbered. Here's a black parallel, Scooter Jeanette. Do we have one more image variation short print in this case? We pulled one already. It was the Ronald Acuna. That was a good pull. Chris Davis, red. We've got one more autograph. Or, I'm sorry, Emperors of the Zone, Max Scherzer, Reese McGuire.
Babe Ruth red, and a Danny Jansen Blue Jays autograph. Blue Jays are going to the AL East. So that's another AL East hit. AL East is going to Grizz, which is good for him because he's a he actually is from Canada. Where? Unlike David and Ark, who is from Ark. <laughs> Congrats, Grizz. Just a few packs left. Then we'll do our hit recap. Warp Speed Francisco Lindor. Penultimate pack. Dallas Keuchel, red parallel. And our final pack. <laughs> Grizz literally just popped in and saw his hit being pulled. Zed, or, yeah, Zed. Yeah. Is... Power Zone, Ken Griffey Jr. Kind of, yeah. I, I would, I would say yes. All right, that does it for the random division break. And the hit recap for the random division break. We've got Danny Jansen for the Blue Jays. AL East. Kevin Kramer. Pirates. Or, sorry, Taylor Ward for the Angels. Going to Lori. And Kristen Stewart, I believe, is Tigers. That would be Ale Central Scott P. And if you are watching us on YouTube, please make sure to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed what you were just watching. And uh, we're going to reset real quickly here, and we will be back with our final break of the night, which is the Triple Box Triple Team Mixer featuring one box of 2019 Stadium Club one box of 2019 Museum Collection and one box of 2019 Finest. We will see you in just a couple minutes.
And welcome back, everybody. It is time to do the final break tonight. We've got three boxes. We've got one box of 2019 Topps Finest, one box of 2019 Stadium Club, and one box of 2019 Topps Museum Collection. Firstly, I do want to point out that every break we've been doing this year has been for charity. This month's charity is Human Rights Campaign, and so far we have raised nearly $750 for human rights campaign just in the month of june we have had an incredible month if you are in the youtube room you can click that little dollar icon any amount of tip or donation that you send tonight will also go in to our donation to human rights campaign so if you want to bump that up a little bit more who knows maybe we can send 800 900 maybe even a thousand dollars it would be awesome if we could uh you also notice that we did not load any breaks for next week we're just sold out. We have nothing left after this. So uh, you, you folks are awesome. You cleaned us out of our product that we purchased. So uh, that that tells us two things. That uh, number one, uh, you are awesome people that are totally amazingly generous. And number two, we need to start ordering more. <laughs> if, we're, uh, if the main goal is to donate as much as possible, then we need to start ordering more. So. Uh, for those just joining us, if you're in the YouTube room, whether watching live or via the replay by clicking the little timestamp in the description box, please make sure you're giving us a thumbs up in the YouTube uh, watch room. That does help our analytics, believe it or not, it really does. And also, please make sure you're voting in the poll at the top of the video here to let us know what you thought of this break. And also, comment in the comment section. Let us know what you thought the hit of the night was. We have pulled a Bob Gibson autograph tonight we pulled a freddie freeman number to 10 autograph we pulled in a, a ronald acuna short print and we've got these boxes still left to go and from what i understand we still have yet to pull uh one of the case hits out of museum so that could be in this box so we've got a ways to go all right folks uh last thing i'll mention is of course thank you so much to blowout cards for the discount on our cases and what's up twitch periscope breakers tv Glad that you're here and joining us. Sorry that we can't chat with you. Reed is still here. What's going on, Reed? And, uh, of course, Alan and Ginter is going to be the next thing that we get to. So if you are going to be donating anything to the Alan Ginter Charity Prize Pad, please get that in the post office now. We are accepting donations until the end of this month. So get out to your post office. Get those sent off. And uh, we will load up the Alan and Ginter Charity Event stuff in the next week. That'll be... Two different cases plus the charity prize pack. And that second case was actually donated to us very generously by Deb P. So if you see Deb P on Twitter or anywhere else, please give her a huge thank you and a big old hug. Let her know how much you and we appreciate her for donating an entire case of Alan and Ginter for our Alan and Ginter charity event That's in incredible. July. Woo. Huge. Okay, time to crack some wax. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to decide how many times to random off everything. We've got our box. I'm going to put all three dice in here. Let's hope for an 18, shall we? Last chance to pull me an Alonso Auto. Or else he'll never break with us again. <laughs> all right, we've got, oh, pretty low. It's an eight. We're going to be randomizing eight times. Not bad. Good news for LQ. So these are the 20 teams that were not picked. This is a triple team hybrid. So pick one team, get two random teams. Eight times. Again, if we do come across any, any of those uh, pesky <laughs> redemptions, we will try our best to remember to do the call your shot game. He's writing me a dirty little note right now. Let's drop that into our team assignments. Now we're going to take our... Oops. Get rid of that last row. And we'll take our ten wax crackers. Yeah, this is a fun little mixer. It's basically of leftover products that... <laughs> And that sounds bad, but I mean, this is all stuff from, I think, all just from June. Come on, random.org. Oh, are we? 
we losing our internet? There we go. And that assigns teams 11 through 20. Jeez. Excuse me. They heard that in Iowa. Good lord. But there, the good thing there aren't any exposed cards anywhere for you to sneeze on. Okay. Drop that in. Boom. Now we take our 10 wax crackers. And do this one last time. We have nothing else to break after this. Even if you wanted us to break anything, I wouldn't be able to do it. We've got nothing. Okay. We do have a box of stadium club and a box of museum leftover. We do have that. <laughs> was actually just going to hold on to them for, for later. But if uh, if you really, 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 really want us to, we can figure out a break with those two boxes. All right, team assignments for the Finest Museum Club Triple Team Mixer are as follows. Chris C., Yankees, Astros, Mariners, Dame, Debbie, Phillies, White Sox, Twins, Brewers, Rockies, and A's. Fieldy, that's Reed. You've got the Angels, Braves, Pirates, Giants, Orioles, and Rangers. Kevin L. with the Reds, Indians, and Rays. Kim K. with the Red Sox, Blue Jays, and Cardinals. Lori with the D-backs, Dodgers, Padres, Royals, Marlins, Cubs, and Ron with the Mets, Tigers, and Nationals. All right. Pull up the clock. It is 8.07, our time. We will give you until 8.09, our time, to make any trades that you may want to make. Thank you, Ronald. And go. See, isn't that nice when we're not streaming on three different devices all night long? I have dropped 0% frames. I love watching those here. That might be where the 85 frames came. But it's still 0%. Now, usually when I'm watching a game or we're, you're YouTubing somewhere else, I'll have like a thousand dropped frames. You are a YouTuber. I'm not a YouTuber. So Ron wants to trade <laughs> with himself. <laughs> we got Ron. less than a minute to yes, go. Ron. Trade for Astros and or Brewers. I didn't think you'd ever ask. There you go. Have some. God, yeah. This is the first trade opportunity of the entire night. Reed, are you sure you want to do that? Well, he, want, he wants Astros or Brewers. Oh. That's him saying bless you. So whenever oh. somebody sneezes, he says, Ron! <laughs> what is the sign something? Uh, you're, so you're so good, good looking. looking. <laughs> All right, it is 8.09. <laughs> Trade window is closed. All right, let's make that make team that board. Lens. Turn off the clock. Shut down the screen. Keep the chat room up. Do you think... An IP autograph Springer and Altuve will help sales and cherry price back. Hell yeah, I do. Yes. Hell yeah, I do. That's huge. Yeah. Vilma. Vilma coming up big time. Yeah. Thank you. Jeez. Thank you much. I, I love our wax crackers. They are like the kindest, most generous. I mean, they're all over the place with other breakers too, but I'm, I'm just specifically calling out the folks. Ours are the best. I'm calling it out. Hey, they're good. All right. They, they are, are the good. best. Yeah, take that, Buck, Buck City, City Dude Bros. My yeah. best dude bros, but I'll say <laughs> ours are better, sorry. <laughs> we do have a little crossover, so I mean. I don't care. Ours <laughs> are better when they're with us. That is what's happening. Oh, come on. Ah, uh, and Chris, you know I love you. Do they? <laughs> <laughs> yes, they do. I'm making them a, a, a curated wine. Company. Is that what you're doing? Okay, here's the team board. 
Reed would like to live trade for a donation for the LED. <laughs> well, <laughs> Reed, if you want that Altuve, <laughs> you're going to need a minimum $5 donation in the charity prize pack for your shot. Nice. As a thank you, we no will give you shot. an entry answer. for every $5 you donate to the charity yeah, prize pack. For you. But just for you, Reed. that's not available yet. You're going to have to wait. All right, let's get on with our, what did I call this? The Finest Museum Club break. But we're gonna we're not going to start with, yeah, we'll start with Finest. Let's start with Finest. And then we'll do Stadium Club and then Museum Collection to end the night, shall we? No, I would do a different one. It's my break, right? We're not doing Museum first. No, Stadium first. All right, Stadium let's first. Let's that all night. Let's keep it, up, keep it going. Actually, that's how I initially was going to do well, it. Well, then you need to listen to me. All right. Chat room's coming down. Team board's coming down. All right. Let's do this. Final break of the night. Please go to crackandwax.com slash shop. Pick up a t-shirt or a hat. And it's for charity. And you look cool. Get dressed up for the Nats. Yeah. Make sure that you tell everyone that you got into a break and all you got was 150 points. Hey. Tell everyone about your... Does anyone go ev- to the Nat in the chat room? Tell everyone... We ask that every break. Tell everyone about your ev- uh, event-used tablecloth. Just like Reed. Reed has one of those shirts. Thank you, Reed. Aaron Judge, oversized. Ding on the corner. Now, this is not, you know, Don Russ type of ding. Model hands. Yes. Model. Model hands. Chat room That's, down. Is that, how you, is that how you spell model? Yes. It looks like model. You know, like modello. Are you insane? I am a little insane. Chat room down for the model hands. I'm like Costanza. No, you're not. Thank God. I'm very happy you're not Summer of George Costanza. Can't stand you. Can't stand you. I had my Summer of Me. That was in 2014. That was. That you was, did. You actually declared it. That was, was kind of crazy. I was living my best 2014. All right. More Stadium Club. More. We've got a Red Kike Hernandez. No, you don't, because it actually is M O D E L. Are you sure? I'm gonna need a spell Are you check on insane? that. I'm gonna need a spell check on that. Oh my god. I'm sure it's M O D L E. No. <laughs> you are a nutbag. There's an Andy Pettit, Emperors of the Zone. You're usually super smart. This is not a thing. Do you mean model is the first thing that comes up? <laughs> 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 It's, model is a word. Okay, this is what comes up in Urban Dictionary, guys. Whoa, 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 hold on. We've got a black and white Nomar Mazara. Okay, now you can you can talk. Well, You're welcome. All right. Jeez. M O D L E is a word because Tracy wanted it to be. It's defined as an alternate alternate spelling of the word M O D E L. See? See, I was right. All right, Tracy. Right. Okay, we've got Jose Abreu, Black Parallel, followed by a Bob Gibson Chrome. This one is not numbered, but it is a refractor. Yeah. You love me. Oh, I don't even know. Thank you, Vilma. My word. We've got a red Matt Carpenter and a Dakota Hudson autograph for the Cardinals. First hit going to Kim K. That's a badass girl. That is a badass autograph. Congratulations, Kim K. So we should be getting a total of eight hits. So two out of this box, two out of the finest box, and four out of the museum collection box. Got a Glaber Taurus beam team. in that bag. Jeez. That's what she said. You got a warp speed of Javier Baez. Will Clark, 
power zone insert. Red Parallel, Ronald Acuna. Freddie Freeman, Chrome. We have the autoed version of that from a different break tonight. That is not numbered. Red of Marcus Stroman. If anyone was curious, model is spelled M-O-D-E-L. Good grief the crap we talk about in Cracking Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Josh Donaldson Black, parallel. Looking for one more auto. I feel like some big's gonna be coming up here. Luis Severino, Emperors of the Zone, Christian Yelich. Don't tell them to call up. their shot. What's <laughs> coming up here? We've got a Luis Severino red. I'm guessing there's an autograph because behind the reds, yep. Yep, I was right. We've got Frember Valdez. We've pulled this before, but this is the red parallel. Going to the Astros. Astros going to? Uh, Chris C. Chris C. I believe that's Fast Cash Uber 2. Fast that's. That's number 37 of 50. Very nice. Congratulations, Chris. Oops, I don't want that there. In fact, I gotta, I gotta find that other autograph now. <laughs> there it is. There we go. Robin Yount, Red Parallel. Couple of packs left here. Warp Speed Harrison Bader. Final pack of Stadium Club for the night. We're not going to see any more Stadium Club tonight. Ever. Well, no, just tonight. Oh, tonight ever. Wow. And this pack does not. You open packs like LQ open. Packs. No, I don't. This pack is just, just not agreeing with me. Yeah, that's how I open every pack. You're welcome. This is why you don't break. Pack. Yeah, this is why you don't break. That's what I'm not a breaker. I'm gonna open packs. You're an open packer. <laughs> okay then. Glaber Torres, Power Zone. I think I dropped something out of that when I was trying to open that pack. Did you? Oh, wait. Oh, Look at that. Oh, wow. It's an Alonso. Uh, wait, it's the, wait, is wait. that, is that number? Okay, hold on. He signed his Alonso auto. Oh. Alonso auto. <laughs> that is meta. Bridget, wait. Wait you, wait, you dropped it again. I dropped it again. If you flip it over. It's numbered V of V. Oh, it's another very V of V. That's an eBay one of one. An Alonso Auto XOXO. Baseball! Congrats on your Alonso Auto, Ron. <laughs> okay. I had time. I mean, Alonso had some time. Listen. Listen, this is very impressive. I would like let's let's pay some special attention to the eyebrows. We'll put that in our. Who the heck is Alonso, by the way? Pete Alonso. Is it? Oh, it's his last name. Yes. Oh sure. Did you think Otto was his last name? No. No. <laughs> his first name was Alonso. His last name was Otto. But I could have been yeah. like Otto Alonso to be accurate. I mean, he could have because he was in this room signing that five of five. 
It's so elusive. Okay, LQ. We'll top load that for you. Don't you worry about it. Moving on to Finest. This is our first mini box of the Master Box. We've got one Chrome autograph in each mini box. See, you guys, you just need to yell out what you're chasing, and we're magic. It happens. That's right. Look we at that. Have LQ sign that and uh, send it with my package. Well, you know. Hey, I'll check with uh, Alonso Otto and see if he will be okay with me putting my signature on it. Jeez. I mean, you are a doofus. This is really amazing. Can't believe, like, I can't believe that fell know, out of that pack like that. It, it did. It fell right out onto the floor. Right out, yep. Zach Greinke, it's got a dinged corner. I'm sorry about that. Justin Smoked, uh, Blue Chip, Aaron Judge, Josh Bell, Sally Perez. If I remember correctly, I think the middle pack is the one that has the autograph in it. I don't know about that. There's La Tortuga. You just look so damn cuddly. Well, I was wrong. There's an autograph right there, so. Oh, you were wrong? I know. How could that be? Francisco Lindor, Cody Bellinger. Let me count the ways. Kyle Tucker. Our autograph, first one, and the only one out of the mini box. Jake Bowers for the Rays. Ooh, you don't sleep on the Rays. Don't folks. sleep on them. Don't sleep on a Rays. Rays going to Kevin L. Oh. Crack and wax rookie. You got yourself a Jake Bowers Rays rookie auto. Nice. Congratulations. Mucho congratulations. Yeah. All right, moving right along. Oh, gosh. I'll, I'm going to catch him real quick. He's right here. We'll get him to sign that. What, sign what? So who signed what? Um, the artist. Oh. So LQ is artist. now a him. So. Listen. Yeah. Don't, you, just, you just open packs. Nicholas Castellanos Refractor. Blue chip, Paul DeYoung. Goofball. <laughs> Iron Buxton. Price performers, Noah Syndergaard. Come for the wax, stay for the quirk. That's... that's, that's Refractor of Lucas Giolito, non numbered. Ryan Barucki, finest. First moment. All right, that was mini box number one. I was actually paying attention to that. That's why I repositioned. Gosh. Vilma says she'll be sending her Kyle Tucker, too. Well, thank Jeez, you, Vilma. Jeez. Vilma. You're like, you it's so like much. the best of the Astros That's coming our way. Great. Good Lord. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Maybe you'll get one back. <laughs> I, if she, if she, well, what? A Kyle Tucker. Kyle Tucker. Nobody gets Kyle Tuckers. His last name is Otto. <laughs> Who would that Kyle Tucker? And our next and final Otto out of finest is a Francisco Arcia. That came fast. Uh, Angels. Refractor rookie auto going to the Angels. And the Angels belong to Fieldy. Reed grabbing a hit out of Reed Finest. Got a hit. That's some t shirt wearing mojo right there. That's right. Reed repping, Crack and Wax with his event use tablecloth t shirt. Only available at crackandwax.com slash shop. Proceeds go to charity. Brandon, uh, Fernando Tatis. Refractor, Eric Hosmer, Purple Refractor, 67 to 250. Blue Chips, Matt Olson. Reed says he'll take it. Yeah, you'll take it. You'll like it, buddy. <laughs> Carlos Santana, prize performer.
Finest always surprises me every year. I, I, I go into it just nervous, and then I end up just falling in love with the product. It's just weird. Uh, Trey Mancini, Refractor, Non-Numbered, Jose Barrios, Trevor Story, Final Pack of Finest. And then we are done with Finest for the year, unless I decide to buy more later down the road. But this this will do it. Later, Ian. Blue Chips, Andrew Bentendi. All right, that is it. Moving on to our final box of the night. This is it, Museum Collection. We're expecting four hits. That's one per mini box. One on-card auto, one auto relic, one quad relic, one prime relic. I want to thank everyone for hanging out with us tonight. I know this was kind of a tough weekend. It's uh, it's that time of year. People are heading out to their cabins, their lakes, grilling out, vacationing. So thank you so much for being here. And uh, how? Look at that night tizzy. Right. And yes, that is what it is. Thanks for helping us crack that wax. Uh, yeah. says, just remember, the majority of these autographs will be on minor league cards, since that's mostly what the players had when they came. Hey, no problem. All right, first mini box of the last box of the night. Could one of these cards be hit of the night? It's a very good possibility. do that okay I'm gonna start with Reese Hoskins 122 of 150 Jose Ramirez Miguel Andujar and a canvas collection reprint of Ichiro and our hit is Patrick Corbin autograph for the D-backs 277 of 299 I'm gonna guess this is going to Lori let's check it out D-backs yep going to Lori Congrats, Lori. And uh, what do we have here? We've got um, baseball. Hi, Vilma. XOXO Kyle Tucker. Oh, I love the shoes. You know, always tie your laces. Right. Safety first. Yeah. Thanks, Kyle. Oh, Kyle. Geez, what a nice young man. Next oh. up. He's all Vilma, Vilma, and I'm all just sign the card for Vilma. Starting with Hideki Matsui, Rivera, Max Scherzer, and behind Chris Sale, we've got another autograph. This is Justice Sheffield, 113 of 299. This one's going to the Mariners. Mariners going to Chris C. All right. Vilma, I'm not sure if you noticed, but uh, this uh, new one who was was numbered a uh, via V. So this is pretty much. I don't uh, know where she's getting this via V from, know. but um, it's it's a Roman numeral and it's Vilma of Vilma. Oh, so it's okay. a one of one. One of one for Craigslist. She said she got an autograph of him last night. That's right, but this one is something different. Mm -hmm. It sure is. It's very different. It's a Craigslist one of one. Whoa. <laughs> that is what we are. All right, we're going to start out with Carlos Correa, 101 of 150. Eloy Jimenez, Luis Severino, Javier Baez, and behind Javi, 
Nice! Look at that patch of Joe Maurer, 7 of 10. Oh. We've been doing really well with Joe Maurer this year. Using that same nice. photo. Man, I'm totally jealous. Uh, twins, going to Dame Debbie. Nice job, Deb. That is awesome. Thanks, Deb. Oh, that's cool. It's the last game, huh? Yep. All right, final box. So I would put that in hit of the night potential with the Bob Gibson, the Freeman, and the Acuna short print. Let's see if we can top it with our final box of the night. So this one should be our quad, our final hit. We've got a purple treble, uh, Trevor Story, 88 of 99, followed by his base card, Blake Snell. And behind Ozzy Albies, our final hit of the night is indeed a quad. For the Nationals, we've got Ryan Zimmerman, Trey Turner, Juan Soto, and Anthony Rendon, 17 of 25. Going to Ron. Ron picking up the last Ron. hit of the night. Nice. Now, it wasn't the Alonso auto that he wanted, but he is finishing the night out with a nice Nats, low-numbered Nats hit, 17 of 25. Well, that's not the one he wanted, but that's the one he's getting. <laughs> All right, folks. Here is the triple box, triple team hybrid recap. So we got that 17 of 25 Nationals quad relic. We've got the Justice Sheffield autograph, 113 of 299. The Patrick Corbin, 277 of 299. We have that Joe Maurer patch, 7 of 10, which I think personally is hit of the night potential. Francisco Arcia, Refractor Auto. Jake Bowers. Dakota Hudson, Framber Valdez, uh, also uh, Kyle Tucker, Via V, and Alonso Otto, autographed by the artist, and also a Via V. Craigslist 101. All right. If you enjoyed what you just saw, please give us a thumbs up in YouTube and please vote the poll at the top of the video. Let us know what you thought of this break. All right, folks. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Let's pop up the chat room here and say good night to everybody. Reed, have a good night. Uh, Ron, you Bye, know. Reed. Yeah, at least you, you, know, you didn't get blanked. Well, even if you did get blanked, you'd end up with a free box break entry. And I got to tell you what, I this is the biggest uh, free box break that we're ever going to do next month. It's one that gives me diarrhea because he spent so much freaking money on it. So, so. I, I put $25 of my own money Per, 25 is nothing compared to what you actually spent. Okay, so. 25 of my own money for every break that we do in a given month. I'm going to be putting $500 of my own money that I could just as easily take in as pro, uh, my own personal profit or income from these breaks. I'm putting that in the June free box break, which we will be breaking in July. Here's the thing, though. Since it's so big, I'm going to change it up. I'm instituting new rules now. Anytime we hit that $500 threshold, which will be, you know, hopefully coming more often, we will, instead of doing a uh, six-spot random division box break, if we hit the $500 threshold, we'll be doing a 10-spot triple-team hybrid. So the June free box break, instead of having six spots, and instead of being a random division, the June free box break, since we hit that $500 threshold, which we've never done before, we are going to be doing a triple team hybrid with 10 spots. So instead of six winners, there will be 10 winners. And it's just, I mean, yeah, look, the, the tickets are overflowing in my ticket mug already, and I still haven't gotten all of them in there yet. So, uh, in there yet. so it's going to be huge. I've got $500 to spend. I don't know what I'm going to buy yet. And we will find out next month when we do our free box break. 
Remember, no new spots right now until Alan and Ginter get loaded sometime next week. But in the meantime, please go to crackomax.com slash shop. Pick yourself up a t-shirt. Could be this 150 points t-shirt that you see on the screen or our event used tablecloth shirt or our Crackomax snapback cap or our Crackomax branded three quarter length shirt. One of those things. One of them. One of them. All right, folks, thank you so much for joining in. I hope you had a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun. That was a lot of Stadium Club. But now it's time for LQ to tweet about diarrhea. Oh, my gosh. Um, <laughs> it's time for us to sort some cards, to go out on the deck and have a few drinks, make, make up some pizza. We will also sort and ship by Monday, I hope. That's usually when we ship, so keep your eyes open for that. And uh, if you have any donations for the Ellen and Get Your Charity Event prize pack, please get them in the mail soon. We really appreciate you. Um, I think that's it. Anybody else have anything? Elsie, do you have anything? I have nothing. It was nice to meet everybody. Yeah, Again. this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, please uh, find LQ on Twitter. She, she's uh, like, why am I not following these people? So, at literal quirk. I found you. Okay. We got you. All right, folks. Thank you so much for joining us. And as always, keep, keep cracking, cracking that, that wax. wax. Have a good Fourth of July. Good night, everybody. Yeah.